Hi, don't worry, this is normal. Kind of. So, two things. First, the video quality of this particular VOD is a bit lower than usual. That's because I forgot to record the stream and had to download it. Second, because I had to download this VOD, a section at the end had to be muted because the music for the credits of this game got claimed and I had to mute it just so I could download the damn thing. So I can't do anything about the video quality, but I will fill out the empty space at the end by giving my thoughts I tried to convey it on the stream in the VOD. And maybe add a backing track from the game as well if I feel it productive enough, I don't know. Anyways, I'll let Monokuma take it from here. Take it away, you psychotic build a bear. Ahem! Testing! Testing! Is this thing on? Why, hello, viewers! Welcome! Terribly sorry y'all missed the stream yesterday, last week. Sorry, not yesterday. But, thankfully, our fabulous host has finally figured out how YouTube streaming works. So, hopefully, we should be <laughs> in for a, for a show that's actually there. Hopefully. So, how y'all doing? Are y'all doing good? I'm doing a little nervous, seeing as I just realized that I'm a... That, well, A, I'm an idiot, and B, people might actually watch. God, that sounded narcissistic, but you get the point. A, hopefully. Hopefully. But, oh, okay. We're back on Despair Girls. We're back on, we're back to streaming Despair Girls again. Well, I'm back to scream, streaming Despair Girls again. For a lot of you, this is probably the first time you've seen me streaming on YouTube. So this is going to be very confusing. I think I have the VOD channel in the... Yeah, the VOD channel's in the description, so... Should be able to watch all of the VODs there. Um, just now realizing I forgot to record the thing, but... Fuck it, I can just download it off of YouTube anyway, so that's fine. I'm a little... I'm a little excited to finish this game off, honestly. I'm kinda... I'm also kinda dreading it, because though I don't hate this game, it is kinda bland bland gameplay wise but um i'm excited to finish it because a i get to finish call of cthulhu which i'm really excited to stream for you guys though again y'all didn't see that because um forgot to set the stream to public and b for don good rumpa v3 i'm so excited to play v3 <sighs> but anyways but anyways i'm getting ahead of myself i'm getting ahead of myself okay so thing was to think to the, the, the thing to it was alt enter to do the full screen right i want to make sure i don't forget to uh fucking what's the word S trying to re remember the key by for full screen because that's another thing in, with this game is that sometimes it just fucking stops like playing in full screen and just goes to windowed for some reason so having that key bind on standby will be your friend trust me Despair Girls Full Screen Yeah, trust me. I know, very exhilarating. I'm so sorry. Uh, I'd rather have this... I'd rather search up this now than, you know, be utterly confused later. F11... Alt-Enter. Yeah, it is Alt-Enter. Okay. Alright. Y'all ready? I'm not, but are you ready? <laughs> and let's get into it, shall we? <laughs> I pride myself on my on my Monokuma impression, I swear to God. Yep, yep, you see, it did it again. It's doing it again. Alt, uh, where the fuck is Alt Enter? There it is. Hey, hey, hey. Alt Enter working there we go it's working all right dude i remember when i found the save point in the last stream i was i was cheering for for this because my god oh I, for a second for a second there i thought the models his models for their models are frozen they were frozen before Weren't they animated before? What the hell is happening? Oh my god, the pot then as well. Jesus. Okay, so I believe we just have to go to I wonder if everyone's heading to Tower Hills. It looks like a real war. Yeah. 
I... Is that Mole Man piloting that thing? Looks like he's getting out a lot of pent-up anger. Yeah, yeah. Are the children going to be okay? Now's not the time to think about the enemy. <sighs> yeah, true. I was honestly kinda confused as to why we needed to stop this thing. Why did you need a load screen for this? Jesus. <laughs> My hypothesis. So that's Impressive. Can I please get a word in? Jesus. Mm. My hypothesis is that the reason why we have to stop this is because this is essentially just creating the first tragedy. Oh, shit. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Could you please? Come on! Give it to me! Thank you. The hero! Body oh, quote! Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, uh, would you just die? I said, oh my god! they could do that i only knew like the, the slash attack and the lunge attack i didn't know they could also do a belly flop hey you fuck you hey you uh, hey stop shooting there we go <laughs> oh my god this is amazing hey over here friend oh, god damn it fuck you <laughs> oh my god i completely lost my train of thought fuck it, sake. Fuck it. we're just going forward now I'm honestly, I'm kind of hoping that this is the last chapter. Like, I know most Danganronpa games just follow like the six chapter structure. Oh, hi there. We get to talk to the kids. Mm. Um, but honestly, <laughs> who knows? Maybe they only had the budget for five chapters this time. You could get lucky. <laughs> uh, I don't. I, I don't mean to be harsh, but honestly, this game's starting to wear um, thin on me. What happened to these children? They look completely terrified. Hmm. Probably just scared once they saw adults were fighting back. Remember those idiots back when you were a kid? The ones who would mess with a chain up dog? Inevitably they'd get bitten, and then they end up with a fear of dogs. But... What does that mean? But they don't look just horrified. They're completely frozen in fear. You're right. Maybe they're more childlike than we imagined. They never thought it would come to this, or. <gasps> or. Do you know something? No. No, nothing definitive, just a feeling. R regardless, once we get to the kids HQ, we'll have all the answers, even if we don't want them. Yeah, I certainly don't want them. I'm curious. No! Aww. Oh shit, it actually did something. So the door opens if you ring the bell? That's kind of weird. Um, the bell toes, I suppose. <laughs> All right, what's next? We got in pretty easy, huh? Maybe it's because Big Bang Monokuma is making such a mess. Togo, what are you looking around for? <laughs> There's no mistaking it. Master is here. Oh God, I forgot we were looking for Byakuya. Can we just leave him for dead? Like we don't really need him. Like at this point in the series, he's just, no. The red string tied to my pinky. Oh, I can feel it tugging. Oh wait, this is the prequel game before Danganronpa 2, isn't it? So we have to save him. God damn it. But in a building this big, it's gonna be hard to find him. God, please tell me this. there's gonna be actually things to do in these wide open areas, unlike the last one. The fucking... Well, obviously. All we have to do is catch the head brat and make them spill. Actually, hang on. Let me check something real quick. Gotta exit the full screen real quick. Trust me, this is important. All right. I just want to be sure everything was was a okay. All ten. And while we're at it, we can make them stop controlling the monokumas. There we Two go. Two birds, one stone. Oh, wait, shit! Didn't have the right window open. <laughs> this is one of the fucking goddamn. Ah, uh, this is one of the most annoying parts about this game. I'm so used to Knowing having those brats. I bet they're somewhere up high where they can watch it all mm. go down. Sorry. I'm used to having like only Streamlabs open, but for YouTube streaming, I have to have the uh, the window open. Otherwise, I won't see anything like the chatter or whatnot. Yeah, that seems likely. Very but likely. From here on, we can't let our guard down. 
The Monokuma controller has to be well protected. Let's buckle up and get moving. Yeah, let's end this. Personally, I'm hoping for an easy ending. You and me both, Kamaru. You and me both. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. And while the credits roll, you'll be all jealous watching Master and me passionately embrace. I think you mean retching off screen. Yeah, I don't think I'll be jealous of that. Finally, someone's making sense. What's that up there? For some reason, I feel like I've seen this before. Um, There's no chance it would suddenly ambush us, right? What would ambush you? Also, why the fuck are the two robots up there? Didn't we destroy those? <sighs> I'm gonna save. We just look around real quick. You never know if there's any secrets. Ooh. See? Up to represent tower group. I don't give a shit about this. What's in here? It's that arcade machine again. <sighs> Let's get a move on. God damn it. Give me that. Be careful that you don't shock yourself. Oh, destroy them all with electricity. So, what's the uh, strategy here? Do I have to... Mm. I think I have to use move on that one to get around him, and then use move on that one to get around him, and then I can use... Am, should I use move on that one? That just begs the question, how the fuck do I get past that one? Unless... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I gotta use move on this one to get this one on the patch without water to move over there, and then I can use move on this to like, get that one to move, so I can go around the other way so I don't have to get caught by this one, and okay, let's see. What are you talking about? Alright, so then it was... Uh, yeah. Ugh, Ugh, bless me. God, I can't see around the corner. Oh, wait a minute. Hmm. There we go. And then, uh, if I can figure out what I need to do here. I forgot that you can also press F1 to get the, the view from the our, uh, arcade machine again, so that was fun. Um, trying to use move on that, but it's not in view. Not, not that one. Um... Well, I can't exactly look around, otherwise I'll get caught. There we go. <laughs> okay, get on the patch. Coco, you get on there too. And wait, no, I need you. Did it! Now let's collect the spoils. Mine, 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 and not here. Um, mine. I probably was supposed to come here later. By the way, is the stream fuzzy for you guys? It looks kind of fuzzy on my end, and I can't tell. And I'm a little scared. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Let me double check. Ah, fucking. Hang on. No, we're good. 1080p. We're good. But better safe than sorry, you know? Where the fuck is my mouse? There the fuck is my mouse. Alright. 
This room. Does that pervert grade schooler live here? You know, the one who stole your... I said nothing happened! You shut the fuck up. Make another joke about that. And I'll give you a stern talking to, because realistically this gun does nothing to you. remote control, we can move the robot, right? Yeah, I came here it much earlier than I It seems dangerous to just start Phase playing two. with it. Why don't you touch it? Oh yeah, because that's the fighter robot. For some reason the Yay! color made me think it was the, the hero robot. robot. No, the hero robot was the one with the, with the uh, drills. Also, how the fuck did you guess? God, what the fuck could this be? Unwavering girl power. Healing item effect plus one. You know what? I can't complain with about that. All right, let's GTFO. I think there should be another door on the other side, correct? Right? I mean, logically there has to. I, I also don't remember if I looked on that side yet. Oh, god damn. God motherfucking name. Yeah, there is one. Haha, -ha, Link ammo. Hey! <laughs> Sorry. Alright. Is there anything else? Oh, wait. No, I. No. Wait, wait. Oh, I can still get it! Notebook. For the sake of my daughter, her thing is worth like eight times more than mine. Younger woman, this thing. Poor. Oh! No! 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 That no! That was written by the mother, wasn't it? If you don't know what I'm talking about, VOD channels in the description. Go watch the VOD. You can watch me. Somewhat overreacts to, to that chapter. I say somewhat because Let's get a move on. I say somewhat because yeah, the entire scene was uncomfortable, but I don't know. I I, I, I think people got the point already. I could and I could have just stopped that screaming. Guy to step on the switch, which opens the door, and then the bomb. Ugh, I'm so, come on, you're confusing me. Shut up. Destroy them all at once. Um, okay, so I assume that that uh, I can only use move, knock back, and link. I assume that bomber Monokuma. What does that button do, though? Does that keep the? Uh, Hang on, I gotta, I gotta test this out. Wait. Hey, that is big sorry, you know? Right? What that noise? Eh. Uh, all right. Yeah, it. <clears throat> you use it on the, uh, on the, uh, the uh, thingy. What's the point of this thing, though? I think, I think the best course of action is to have this Monokuma here and then like move this bomber Monokuma uh, somewhere closer by here so that it can get destroyed by the explosion and then also destroy that other Monokuma like a domino effect. That's my best guess anyways. Hey folks, how are y'all doing? Don't mind me, I'm just gonna move her here for no reason whatsoever. We're all friends here, right? Now hold on, let me get centered. There we go. Much better, isn't it? I will do anything to do my Monokuma impression in this fucking game. Wait a minute. Hang on. Ah, uh, hold on. I think I saw something really interesting over here. Um... 
Yeah. Um. And then. You don't see me. Wait. You're right. I don't see you. I'm just gonna move over here. You know. For no reason. Uh, C to unlock. And I can do this. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, I used it too early. Fuck. I had to go around here and then... <sighs> yeah, hang on. I know I don't have to, but I want to. Just a sec. It's that arcade machine again. I know it's the arcade machine. We've been through this. You, oh, great camels are. Monaco man. Use that guy to step on the switch, which opens the door, and then the bomb. Ugh. God, I'm confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know you're confused. Just wait. <laughs> See, then go around and no! use move on that, and then knock back. There we go. I had the right idea, it's just the wrong order. Okay, this is actually. This is way better than the last chapter. Jesus Christ. The challenges here are actually challenging. Instead of tedious. I assume this is the art kid room. This looks like the room with that mask kid. Tools everywhere. Oh, it smells like paint thinner. Oh, paint thinner. No wonder I was feeling a little loopy. Uh, do I want to know what these pictures... I don't want to know. Let's just get the fuck out of here. Now we can open the door. Hmm. I will admit, his gesture drawings are pretty good. Anyways, let's move on. I'm also just realizing that that one coherent view is probably just me because I have a view of my stream on the thing. Here we go! Now we can keep going. What a pain. After all this, they're still playing games. I have a feeling that uh, this this is like letting Monica know that we're here. I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. Another robot. There's no way it would end with those two robots from earlier. Not with these developers. Eh, there it. I think there would be a way, honestly. God, I hope there would be a way. And eh, break ammo's full. Alright, let's save. Alright. I believe this is the hero side, judging by that thing on the floor. It's that arcade machine again. Yes. Let's get a move on. I know. Monokuman! Four aberrant Monokumas. We might be able to defeat them in one go if we get the right angle. Oh my god. So... Our best bet is to... Move just this car, then just that car, then that car, and then that car when they're at the right area. Just a sec. 
Oh my god, the fucking sound. Alright. Go, 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 go. And then. And then. Let's see. Alright. Go. There we go. That was easy. What are y'all worried about, huh? That P.E. idiot must live here. This room reeks of insecurity and overcompensation. Whoa. What? What are you loading for? What? No, no doubt about it. Monokuma's the. Why is it? Like I remember, I saw like the the entryways for the uh, books for the other Warriors of Hope, like the pink one, the blue one. I keep forgetting their names. Just trust Monica, and every brain rinsing is easy as pie. As long as he wear the Monokuma head, everyone's our ally. If this keeps up, the paradise will be complete in no time. And when that happens, I'll bring peace to the entire world next. So they are Turbo, being brainwashed. About this brain rinse part. He clearly means brainwash. Brainwashing? Does that really exist? I've only seen that in science fiction. It exists, Kamaru. No, that level of technology was developed long ago. Technology like that can't exactly be advertised to the public, can it? I figured this was the case. The masterminds made the other kids wear those helmet things to brainwash them. That's even more reason we gotta stop the adults from fighting the children. I mean, if they were under mind control, they aren't really to blame at all, right? I know how you feel, but it's better if you don't think about that. Huh? You gotta get... What? I know that you're what? growing, but I have a bad feeling about this. The way you've grown, uh, I feel like this whole situation has been a setup. I thought Nagito already established that. Didn't he already establish that? Or am I. Setup? By who? Or am I. The one who teamed up with that white haired guy. Oh. Trying to bring you all the way here. And here you are, right in the kids' HQ. It's exactly as that person planned. Okay, so they so they do acknowledge that. But even if that's true, if I just run away, I can't do anything about this war, right? Right, but it's going to be all right. I don't know whose idea this was or why they're doing this, but as long as we stop this violence, nothing else matters. You're right. We've come this far. Only thing to do now is believe in ourselves and go for it. You're really starting to sound like him now. Huh? Y you think so? Don't blush! Ugh, it's just like I said. Brother complex. What? Ooh, let's just move on. Oop. Yeah, there's the, the hero's robot. Does Monica Yay! have a robot the of her robot own? Moved. Or is that just these four kids? Toka Moot. Get the fuck out of the way. Hey, you! Fuck you! God damn it. <laughs> I was really hoping there'd be like an Easter egg if we did that. Alright, moving on. Honestly, <clears throat> I don't know if it's just because like it's just the the end of the game and I'm starting and I'm starting to get a little desperate, or if they actually like, put some effort into this. But this is legitimately fun. It's that unlike, arcade machine. I'm like fucking that Let's get factory area. What was that music? This room feels different than the others. It's less of a fighting stage and more like a riddle. What? Uh, 
And that says zero. What? What the fuck? Oh. There's paintings on the walls. Use the thing that only you can see and the hmm. thing that only others sees in precise order. thing that quote the only thing that I can quote use the thing I can see on is the detect so there's a bomb there's a shield there's a regular there's a siren what am I looking for So my hypothesis is that there should be like numbers where each of these Monokumas are. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I can use Link, right? Hold on. There's like a, f if you look closely, there's like a frame there. So let me see. Oh! Oh, that's cool! So it starts with three, and then whatever that blank thing is, that's either the Monoku the regular Monokuma or the thing on the top there, just in case. Regular Monokuma's a nine. So that's a three, that's a nine. An eight. Three something something eight. Three something four eight. I think. Yeah, three. Three something. Four. Eight. So I'm assuming that because that there's no Monokuma here, that means it's three zero four eight, right? There we go. Smart and full of brains. So many reference books. I feel nauseous. I feel right at home. Maybe you already forgot this, but I'm a liberal arts girl. Good for you, buddy. Jesus Christ. Blue shred from the sacred a thread from the sacred mountain. As I live here in the village down the mountains, I dream about it every night I'm like thin food on the creek and kitchen floor from the author of so lingers the ocean toko Fu toko fukawa is this your book toko Aww. is this another one of your books another this is the first book i've seen by toko <clears throat> it says toko's latest work right there genius uh how many books have you written toko hmm. Never really counted before. Let me think. If we're talking about novels, I'd say more than 80. 80? Nothing. It's not surprising. I wrote every single day, after all. And it's not the quantity that matters, it's the quality. Only third-rate companies value quantity. As expected of an ultimate. But... But are you getting antsy lately? Since you haven't been able to write? <sighs> oh yeah, I've been aching to get these raging emotions onto a manuscript. I don't need to know about your smut, Toko. I'm worried if I don't get these babies out my creative womb. Oh my god. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, that sounds bad. And? What about you? What do you want to do when you get out of here? Well, lots of stuff, really. I want to go to school, eat my mom's cooking, and there's a lot of manga to read. <laughs> and also, I want to go on a picnic with you. Picnic? A virgin dude's date of choice? You see, 
It's just that. I haven't really seen a nice, peaceful blue sky lately. <laughs> so when I get out of this place, I want to go to, on a picnic with you. Under a clear, blue, sunny blue sky. I want to do all the cliche things, like eat sandwiches. I bet someone made fan art of these two on a picnic date. I see. <clears throat> well, even if you were fantasizing, you're normal. Well, if I don't have any engagement ceremonies with Master planned that day, I'll think about it. Jesus Christ. Toko! <laughs> you said you'd go. It's a promise <laughs> then. I said I'd think about it. It's too early to think about that kind of stuff until we All escape. Right. Well, the way I see it, I'm definitely going to escape. You think the same way, don't you? <laughs> That's true, but I guess I'm not surprised by how much you've changed in this short time. <laughs> <laughs> People change. <sighs> Cut the attitude. You should make a daily routine of lubing lo lo your doorknob with salad dressing. Stop it! What? Toko, what the fuck? Why the fuck? Why? Now we can open the door. Uh, get the fuck out of my way. Thank you. You see that? I was like stuck to the chair. Or table, not chair. I really want to shoot these guys. All right, anyways. Let's go. Ding dong, bing bong. Ding bong, ding dong. The Monica girl was the only one who didn't have a room. <laughs> what? She gets special treatment or something just because she's the mastermind? I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. Here we go! Please let this be the end. Please let so this be the end. So this is a real office, huh? Do you think I could ever have my own office someday? I think another ice age would come before you end up in a place like this. This... Whoa! <laughs> Where did y'all come from? Jesus Christ! Holy shit! I thought there was like only one of you fuckers. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> oh, thank God. All right, yoink and a yoink. All right, we should be good, right? Right. No more secret collectibles. These elevators are broken. Yoo-hoo, shiny objects. Where are you? I just want to collect you. <laughs> Seriously, where the fuck are you? If I seriously didn't have the foresight to have a secret collectible in this area. Well, oh. Well, they added trauma right next to a collectible. Alien. When I heard there was going to be a new member of our family, I wasn't expecting much, but somehow I was still disappointed. We get this brat inside our house now. I have no idea what she's thinking. She and her whole attitude don't belong here. Food tastes disgusting when I have to eat with this alien and look at her smile. Oh, so a racist. So, straight up racist. Jesus Christ. Why is this so big? This should not be this big. Fuck's sake. Oh my god. Knock back and battery full. Keep forgetting the vertical ones are batteries. That's a save. Wait, no, no. Let's check the door. Let's check the door. Check the door just in case. It's no use. It's not budging. 
do we need a card key? Like we did for the elevator at Toa Tower? Then we can't use this elevator, huh? But it doesn't look like the other elevator's gonna move, so we have to work with this one. Wait a minute. Would Haiji maybe have a card key? He is the heir to the Toa group. Even if he did, that coward mole is in the middle of a fight with his Big Bang Monokuma. The coward mole you're talking about. That wouldn't be me, would it? How the fuck did you get here? Haiji! Why are you here? Same reason you're here. You're looking for the device to control Monokumas, right? You too? The Monokumas from all over Toa swarmed me all at once. Even with Big Bang, there were too many. I'm sure. So the plans changed. Destroy the controller first, make the enemy lose their edge. After the Monokumas are out of the picture, we're just dealing with kids. We can turn this around. Is that... Shirakuma's advice? Huh? So what if it is? Uh, no, nothing. But I had no idea you two were already here. No wonder we didn't run into too many of them. Anyways, good timing. Do you have a car key for this elevator? No. We don't need a card key for this. This elevator only works with retinal identification. Retinal? Is that an animal? Uh, that's your eyeballs, Kamaru. Retinal means I... But why is it locked in the first place? This lock shouldn't be on unless it's been manually set. Last time I saw it was open. So who locked it? Don't tell me. Is this also her doing? She trying to toy with me? Stop your creepy mumbling to yourself and open it. Your eyes will work fine, won't they? No. The only thing that can release the lock is the eyes of Toa Group's chairman. Don't tell me. The chairman? Your father? You said he was missing. Missing, right. I only said that because I didn't want to admit it. The old man is dead. The kids killed him. We're gonna have to get the old man's eye, aren't we? What? Wait a minute. If he was killed, then retinal scanning isn't even going to work anymore. No, as long as we have his eyes, the scanner I should still work. I fucking called it! So, all we gotta do is bring the old man's body back here. His body? Let's just hope it's not too stiff for rigor mortis by now. Yeah. I think that's what whoever locked this door wanted me to do. After all, his body is on this floor. On this floor? Yeah, on this floor for sure. He was killed right before my eyes. The old man was killed in the chairman's office on this floor. Throat torn out by Monokumas. Oh my gosh. They really captured my menacing energy, didn't they? <laughs> I, I ran away, but I'm sure his body is still in the office. The chairman's office should be at the end of the hall over there. I'll leave the rest to you. You're not coming with us? If I have to go along with their sick little games, I'd rather give up entirely. Besides, it might be faster to just destroy this whole building with Big Bang Monokuma. Didn't you s What are you talking about? We're still in this building. I know, I know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Bullshit. Kaiji, he's acting different now for some reason. And who's the her he mentioned? Monica! <laughs> I mean, Monica. It's Monica. Jesus Christ. Let's try the chairman's office. <sighs> Although, I can't say I'm excited about what we'll find. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Hi, everyone. You, uh, you having fun? Watching the fireworks? The complex complete manual for marriage prep? I don't want to know. <laughs> I guess there are some books that might be of use once in a while. Hmm? Be of use? For what? Don't mess with for me! For proposing the master, obviously. Once we're out of here, we'll make a vow right way. You can't do that, Toko. Can't 
What do you mean I can't? Are you saying that Master rejecting me is a foregone conclusion? Yes. That I should just give up? Yes. No, I'm saying that if you keep talking like that, you're totally raising your death flag. Huh? Huh? You don't know a death flag? Um... Like, imagine a mystery novel when a bunch of people are trapped in a mansion. One guy always says something like, There's no way I'm staying, and turns runs off alone. Talking like that or making a dumb decision pretty much means that we're all gonna die. A death flag. <sighs> I don't know what it is. I know what it is, I just don't believe in a stupid jinx like that. Then what's, what was with your reaction? Don't go no! That's also a death flag! <laughs> what? I can't say that either! Characters who don't believe in curses or the power of God always get killed off! <sighs> that might be true, Jeez. but... Jeez! stop raising all those death flags! I'm really in a pinch! What's going on? Jeez, how much do you believe in that stuff? Alright! Since that's the case, we have no choice but to raise the survival flag! Huh? What is a survival flag? You see, it's tear jerking dramas, surgeries that have a low success rate always miraculously work, right? And in an anime, whenever you think the main character's gonna lose, somehow they win. So we have to raise the survival flag. Activate super low probability principle. Well. Oh my god, this is a mouthful. Um, okay. What do we do? What do we do? The probability that we're going to defeat the children is a mere 1%. Oh no, there's no way we can win against them. I'm just a normal high school girl and stuff. Fuck off. That's pretty much the first thing you told me when we met. <laughs> well, yeah, I've been trying to raise my survival flag ever since. <laughs> I'm sure, Kamaru. The character who tries too hard dies early too. Uh, oh my god! Jesus Christ! Fuck you! Thank God. I didn't feel like aiming that time. Anyways, moving on. Oh my God, they all turned around too. God damn. Oh my goodness. You might say it's game over. Hmm. Uh... Enemies popping up at a time like this? Did they really have to make this level harder? Oh Who's god. They? No, 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 Oh, that was easy. I mean, I saw the bomber, Monokuma, but I didn't think that would see me. Super race! Holy shit! Does this do what I think it does? Super race! Hell yeah! Oh my god, with all these super races, they're going to be rich! Hey folks, how you doing? You enjoying the show? God, I hope so. Ah, it's blood! Blood! <laughs> blood! <sighs> oh my god. I was so shocked, I really drew out that last word. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let's just get the body. Hey, Toko. W what? Did you find it? Yeah, we found it. I did, but what should I do? It's laying on the floor. It's looking at me. You don't have to give me the details. If you don't think it'll work. But if we give up now, we won't be able to get through. And then all the people of the town might end up like this. I'll do it. Yeah. I'll do it. Oh boy. What? It's done. Did you take off the guy's head? What's that paper bag? 
No, wait, never mind. I don't want to know. Did you take off his head? Yeah, probably better if you don't. Okay, let's head back to the retinal scanning place. <laughs> yeah. Okay, moving you on. You look pale. Are you okay? Well, actually, never mind. I know you're not. Yeah, yeah. What? Uh. Moving across a steel frame while pushing over mechanical bears? This is getting crazy. How? What the? What? Come on. Could, could you please? There we go. Stand the fuck still! <gasps> yes, you are! Now stay there! <laughs> Did you see the way he's jumping to the abyss? God damn it. Oh my god. All right, let's just save. Let's just save. Oh, boy. Okay. I'm taking it out of the bag. Yeah, you do it. Hurry up and do it already. Don't rush me. Yeah, please don't. Oh. Ugh. need it anymore, right? Just, just throw it. No, 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 I, I can't. I'll get divine punishment. No, you won't. Divine punishment? Sensing ghosts? That's enough of your occult stories. Divine punishment is a fiction the living created. The dead have no power. That might be true, but... Miss. What the fuck was that? Toko, did you say something? Huh? I didn't say anything. The fuck? The, that's strange. For some reason, I thought I heard a voice. Um. I was just telling you to stop with that stuff. I heard it too, Toko. Shut the fuck up. Miss. Miss. Oh, God, is there. See? I heard it again. <laughs> you cannot be serious. What? What happened? What are you shouting about all of a sudden? <laughs> g -g 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 ghost! The ghost of a severed head! Told you, now's not the time for fooling around. I'm serious! Miss, you're horrible. Throwing my head away like that. What the fuck? I, I, I am sorry. I, I was surprised. I, I dropped it on accident. I didn't mean... Huh? I, I, I'm really sorry. I apologize. Please, don't curse me! Curse you? There's no way I'd do something so wrong. What is happening? I just want you to listen. What the fuck is happening? L listen? Kamaru, get a hold of yourself. You're hallucinating. My name is Tokuichi Toa. I was the chairman of Toa Group in the past. Uh, I know. You're Mr. Heiji's father, right? Oh my god, what is happening? I see. You know Heiji. Then do you know his little sister, Monica, too? Yeah, um, Gaiga told me about this in the last stream. Little sister... Monica? Monica is a mage. Very interesting. Could you back away, please? And when I attended elementary school, I was called the Little Ultimate Homeroom. I had to make a call back. Then... that kid... and Mr. Haiji are siblings? And he probably broke his back, and so did this scumbag. Hmm, so you do know about Monica. In that case, I can get right to the point. 
I beg you, no matter what, using any means necessary, stop Monica from going out of control. What the fuck is this scene? If you let her do this, the name of Toa will be finished. This is bad. Kamaru's chatting up an illusion. I gotta bring her back to her senses. The ungrateful child. She forgets she is in my debt for taking her in. And revolts against me. Taking her in? Didn't you break her fucking back because she was good at homeroom? Like, are we just completely skimming over that fact? That whelp's mother was my mistress. But that bitch abandoned her responsibility and forced Monica on me when she was a baby. The fuck do you mean her responsibility? But isn't a father expected to raise his own child? Yeah, and besides... I, I can't. If her mother wasn't going to raise her, I wouldn't have tolerated the pregnancy at all. That's horrible. I even let her stay in our home and raised her. I could have easily left her in an orphanage. Yeah, you also could have, could have just easily not breaking her fucking back! But that child made me end up like this. She killed her own father. After you broke her back. Along with your son. Do I need to repeat myself again, sir? You horrible, disgusting stain of a man. It's all that woman's fault. She's the one who made Monica insane. I knew something was wrong the moment I noticed Monica growing more rebellious. What, you mean in a fucking wheelchair? Wait, that woman? Even thinking about her horrifies me. Hmm? The power of Christ compels you! The power of Christ compels you! The power of Christ compels you! Okay, okay. Enough with the exorcist reference, Toko. It's he's gone. He's gone. I, I beg you, please stop, Monica. Avenge me! Toko, what are you doing? I was just about to hear something important. <sighs> Looks like you're back to your senses. There's no way that stupid chant would work on a real ghost. You are dreaming it. Dreaming? But he told me a lot of things. About the Toa family. Does that imply that ghosts exist in this world? Oh, it was all just a delusion. Really? A delusion? Look, you're tired. Dream about stuff when you're in bed after this is all over. I, I still don't get it, but... Okay. What the fuck is happening? What is this game? What is this story? What is happening? this the same teeth that that pink girl used? So what's with the fucking singing? Why the singing? Hey! There we go. Careful! The tricky one came out! Yeah, I know. Whoa. Ah! I don't know! Ah, burn! Oh my god!
wonder if there's an actual translation of this song. Oh, thank God the singing stopped. Hey, folks, how you doing? Those who dream, mom, mangoes, throat? What the fuck does that mean? Which reminds me. I need to ask you something important. Hmm? What could it be this time? Something important? Um... We are, you know, friends, right? And friends discuss things like hopes and dreams, right? <laughs> yeah? Don't mess with me! Why do you sound... Sure! Am I wrong? Um... Oh, don't you sound sure, damn it. Well, there are different forms of friendship, after all. Anyway, I realize that I don't know your dream. So tell me, what's your embarrassing dream for the future? Um, well... It's not like outside of this town is peaceful, so it might not really matter what my dream is. What? What, are you embarrassed or something? Well, a little. Aren't all dreams a little embarrassing? No. My dream for the future is... greedy. It's embarrassing for me to think that far. Hm. Oh, so just say it already. I won't laugh. But... I call bullshit. No, you're definitely gonna laugh. Don't mess with me! What? I said I won't, so I won't. So just say it already. Promise you won't make fun of me? <sighs> Jeez, you're persistent. I promise. Um... Okay, I've been thinking about it on and off since middle school. Um, I want to be a manga artist. No. Or I think that, like, it might be nice to be one. I see. I see. It's very you. Well, why'd you get quiet? <sighs> You're really not gonna make fun of me for that? Well, you won't change my opinion that manga is trash. But I told you I won't make fun of you. Wait, why is it suddenly voiced now? And besides, the desire to be something is admirable. I would never make fun of that. Toko. What? You're creeping me out. What's nothing. I'm just glad that you're my friend. Why are only some of these voiced? If I ever draw manga, I want you to be the first one to read it. I can't imagine the day would come that I actually read a manga. Huh? Do you mean... Anyway, manga or novels, none of that's going to get done unless we get out of this town. So let's hurry up and finish this. Yeah, as long as we're together, everything will turn out right. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm a little nervous. Oh god, there's another one. Alright, let's see what this thing is. Oh, the sock thing. I don't give a shit about it. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Oh, another one? Just die! Oh god. How did you not- Huh? Would you just burn? Thank you. Shooting through all of my goddamn burn ammo here. That Monokuma looks like he's looking for someone. How do you know? When did you get the ability to read the minds of homicidal bears? I don't know, man. Shut up. Let's just get through this. Should, I think we're almost done. Is there another door? Yep, there's another door. Y'all have a good meeting? What the fuck is this? Killing urge. What's this? Um, max batteries, extra life, so I suppose why not? Yeah, at this point I just see the fucking batteries as extra lives, because I never use Genocide Jill. Or Jack, I keep calling her Jill, because... Oh, wait! Uh, I totally forgot something! What? what? The chairman's head! We left it! He's gonna curse me again! 
I'm leaving. Don't you fucking dare. What's with all the blood? What's with all the blood? Why the blood? Blood? Why the blood? What's with all the blood? What? Hmm. Another game corner. Yeah, I could see that. Oh boy. Mana too, man. Ah, oh, jeez. Over there. Someone's hanging from the ceiling. What? Where? Oh. 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 Oh, it's the pink one. Why did it have to be the pink one? Well, actually, why couldn't she? Why are they already? Why aren't they already dead? she doing? Ah, you two, please help me! Should we? These perverted bear robots are gonna gang up on me! Oh, relax, they're just gonna tear you to shreds. Ignore her. There's no way I can do that. Why not? You're too trusting. She's that perverted girl who took away your virginity. Nothing like... <sighs> what? No, she didn't. You heard her. I'm not going to kill them! When the Beast Monokumas are focused on her, that's your chance. Uh, let's see how long that takes. No! I'm gonna be humiliated by a beast, but I'm still a kid! My god, you're not gonna get... <sighs> Jesus Christ. Please, hurry and save me! I'm losing feeling in my arms! Kia! I'm falling! Would you shut the fuck up? Wait, 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 wait. They, they almost saw me. Alright! Oh, they're overheated. I'm gonna go shred them into scrap metal. Ah, no, you won't. Bye! Bye-bye! <laughs> ah, wait, now the loot! No, no. Ah, I'm glad. Even the worthy home are sometimes not. Who the fuck? Did I use that proverb right? I almost never say stuff like that, so I'm not sure. But just because you're not used to it doesn't mean you should give up. Like those tentacles. Why couldn't you have died? Hey, why were you getting attacked? It is highly unfortunate, but it appears I too have been betrayed. For being so unfortunate, you sure seem nonchalant about it. Well, this is an act too. If I stop acting, it would be bad. I would lose my cool like some miserable wretch. That's called repressed emotions. To put this much effort into betraying me, I'm boiling with anger. You're talking about Monica, right? Yes, she said it herself. She doesn't care about paradise and never has. She was tricking us with all her talk about succeeding the will of Big Sis Junko. She even took advantage of the hope Big Sis Junko gave us. And she made everyone in the Warriors of Hope fight. No, more than that. Remember after I lost to you two? I got ambushed by Monokuma kids? I think that was her doing. Masaru and Jotaro probably ended up the same way. They did. She didn't just betray the Warriors of Hope. She wanted to kill us. She didn't believe in friendship or effort or victory. The children's paradise we dreamed of, it was never going to happen from the very beginning. Yep. If that's true, then what is she really after? Despair. <laughs> I'm not sure, but she said something about the successor to Junko and Oshima or something. A success. She's twisting this whole situation to make a kingdom for herself, not a 
paradise for all. And as queen of her little kingdom, she probably wants to be the pampered successor. She's seriously the worst! She should just choke on a bowl of poo and die! Hey, Toko. What do you think? Well, first off, I still don't think we can trust her. Saying things like, I was betrayed. She probably just wants us to let our guard down. Never! Look, yeah. I'm completely unarmed! See? Dude! Hey, stop! If you still don't trust me, I'll let you in on a little secret. Jesus the whereabouts Christ. of that big fat liar, Monica. She should be inside the Excalibur, anchored at the rooftop helicopter port. The Excalibur? It's that big airship thingy you so courageously jumped out of. It's on top of Toa Hills. Give me the helicopter. <coughs> you mean the helicopter? If you know where she is, why don't you go find her yourself? Well, I was planning to do just that. But that's when I got jumped by these Monokumas. The device that controls the Monokumas. Is that in this Excalibur thing too? I'm guessing that liar poophead Monica is holding on to it. She's controlling the Monokumas. Jeez, her stupid magic. Getting all carried away with that controller. You should snatch it from her. Then you can give it to me for safekeeping. I am not trusting you with that controller. S safekeeping? You're just as bad as Monica. And more importantly, where's the hostage from Future Foundation? This is crucial. You mean that blonde guy who looks like he has really pretty nipples? Yeah, that's him. No doubt about you it. You are the not helping, Toko! The master you're talking about is in the storage room on the top floor of Toa Hills. But... The key to that room is in that liar poophead bitch Monica's pocket! And all I gotta do is strip that rat down and snag that key! No! 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 No stripping! Yeah! And after she's stripped down, bury her legs and let starving dogs come eat her! You don't have to go that far? All we have to do is make her give us the key. Oh, you're so kind, miss! But remember, the device that controls the Monokumas, just leave it to me. You can trust me with it. <laughs> no. After all, I don't hate adults anymore. They're not demons to me, not one bit. I'm calling bullshit. Now then, good day. Now then, please piss off. Jesus Christ, that good kid. Good day? Where is she going? She doesn't hate the adults anymore, huh? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You aren't that good at acting. Maybe we shouldn't have saved someone like her. Maybe we shouldn't have, yeah. Right now, we know where we need to go. So let's get to the roof already. Before there are more victims, we have to stop the kids and adults from fighting. Kamaru, your eyes are scary. Huh? What about her eyes? I told you before, Master comes first. But if we can save the city while we're at it... But... But... Got it? Got it. Okay, then. Well, that was... Something. Let's just move on. So where there was a collectible somewhere here. Um there it is. A quick and easy cleaning technique. Yeah. Can I skip this? Yes, you're annoying. Shut up. going on <laughs> yeah come Don't. on moving on I've lost all abilities to care hey kid <sighs> she just went through the door and took her dead
Anyways. Moving on. How much longer until we get to... <laughs> I just noticed, look at the cheapies in the bottom left. Oh my god, that's amazing. We've climbed pretty high. Can't be too far away. Yep, extra life. What? The fuck? Well, that's a pretty creepy door. What should we do? I don't know. What should we do? Are you actually planning to open this obviously creepy looking door? I mean, there might be something important or useful in here. I'm not going to help you out if a head starts rolling on the floor like last time. Don't say that. It's scary. Let's open the door. What is this? What? Oh, this room. <laughs> Get outside. Wait, this is Kumaru Mokuro? Kamaru. What is this? It's written in blood. Hey, Togo. Oh! 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 Oh, hi, friend, pal, buddy, pal, friend, chum. <laughs> Please don't hurt us. Yeah! Yeah! Don't scare me like that. If you were going to tag along with us, make your presence known. Jeez. Are you just going to stand there so, looking angry? It was here. Um, Mr. Haichi? You have no idea what this room is, huh? Well, I'll tell you. This is a torture room. Those kids were torturing our loved ones in here. Torture? You guys saw that broadcast too, right? Someone help! That's my wife! To try and flush us out from the base, those brats made us watch our loved ones get chopped up. It actually had the opposite effect, though. We were all too afraid to come out. Of course. Oh! I love Danganronpa. Good luck with the last boss. Well, hi. Welcome to the stream, Gundam Barbados. I probably butchered that horribly. What? Yeah. Yes. Thank you. For the luck. Ooh. Such a despair-inducing idea. Someone with experience must have planned. You understand now, right? This room... It represents all the despair we were forced to feel. All the adults back at the secret base. <laughs> Their loved ones were killed right here. Yeah, yeah, cool. All of them? It's not an exaggeration. Every single one of us had loved ones killed in this room. Mm-hmm. Then those kids somehow discovered all your identities and found your relatives? Y yeah, so? Well... Doesn't that sound strange to you? Do you really think those brats are capable of that? Well, know. capable or not, that's what happened. And that's why we can't show any mercy. Not anymore. I'll never forgive those bastards. Never! Sounds about right. This must be where they put the bodies. They threw them away like... Broken toys. Okay, fitting considering the rigor mortis. You want to see it? When you do, I'm sure you'll no longer want to take their side. Uh, no! Fuck, no! We're not taking their side. It just... It seems like something's off to me. You go on ahead. I want to stay here a little longer. You I do have that. to. I have to tell the others about this place. I want to be able to describe it. Why? Mr. Haiji, I understand how you feel, but those kids didn't do it of their own free will. <clears throat> let's just go. But... Yeah, let's just get the fuck out of here. Let him... Let him... 
Let him have his little crazy Toko, monologue. shouldn't we explain the brainwashing to Haichi? He won't even listen to us. It would probably make him even more upset. But I wanted to ask him about his little sister, too. You heard about that from your hallucinations, right? You shouldn't take that as fact. And not just that, but a lot of things seem off. Oh, the victims Whoa. are all relatives of the people at the secret base? Doesn't that seem strange? Is it a follower? Hang on a sec. Um. Oh! Hey, sir. Hey, sir, subscribing. Being Gundam. Hang on a sec. I'm gonna move the live chat real quick. I can't really see the notifications from, uh. Here, so. Yeah, that's better. No matter how smart those brats might be, how could they possibly learn who they all were? There we go. Alt enters your friend with this game, I, still, I swear. Things are starting to get fishy, but we've come this far. No way we can head back now. I'm sure it'll be all right. You and me, we can do this. I mean, we've gotten five chapters through this so far, so yeah. You're right. No choice. We have to press forward. I wonder if Haichi's okay. Whoa. Stop worrying about other people. Right now, you should be worrying about yourself. There we go. Come on. Damn it. Whoa. Whoa! Jesus Christ! Please be dead. You're not dead. Please be dead. Thank you. Christ. All right. Dance ammo. That'll be useful. All right. Next floor. What could they possibly have for me here? He's here. Master Biakia is nearby. Oh, God. Not again. Huh? How do you know? I can smell him. Oh His my god! Sweet fragrance is getting stronger. Stop! Stop it! Stop it! Take your antidepressants! Stop it! Jesus Christ! You mean his BO is getting stronger? <laughs> Don't say it like that! It makes it sound like he smells bad! Why not? It would match his personality pretty well. But. Then again, the smelly master is good too. Stop! That itself is a reward for us. Toko, I swear to God! Us? You're including me in this? Anyway, there's no mistaking it. He's close. But first, we have to get the key. I know. That brat called Monica has it right. But before we go, let me nourish myself. Nope, nope, nope. We're moving past this. Nope, no more, no more. You, you're the worst. You're actually the worst. Do we go in here? Do we go up here? No, that's blocked. That is also blocked, but there's a secret there. All right, here we go. This room creeps me out. Yeah, yeah, but it does. I guess they use this room as a war room. Probably made it creepy for ambiance. Pretty blunt if you ask me. But I guess you can't expect much from kids. True, very true. Wow, you're mean. <laughs> I'm glad you're on my side. That's a backhanded compliment. Maybe there's a hidden room Whoa. behind that throne. Of course. There's always a... So it really was a hidden room. Wait, I... What? Huh? What? Well, I just saw an enemy and just started shooting blindly. What the fuck? Do you think the Yakuya could be in there? This is exactly the kind of room where he'd be hidden. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Toko, wait up! Where the fuck? <laughs> she just ran towards a crazy dog. What the fuck? 
Anyways, I wanted to ex I wanted to explore the room first. Oh. Oh, okay, so the sock dies. Great. Spoiler alert, guys, the sock died. This one's different from the other one. It's really... This ladder, it's pretty suspicious. Oh boy. How many cuts is there? Master is inside a storage room. What kind of storage room would be up a ladder? Well, let's just check it out for now. I... Uh, oh! These are all... photos of Junko and Ashima. I'm starting to see a pattern here. Give me a second. Just a sec. Just a diddly darn second. Who's texting me? It's just fucking that. Alright. <clears throat> huh? This person is... Junko and Oshima? <laughs> oh my god. She's different than how I pictured her. She looks like your typical trendy teenage girl. Yeah. What are you saying? Do you know how many people have died because of her? Saying quite a few would be, uh, putting it lightly. Sorry. You're right. And more importantly, this creepy room. It's like a cult headquarters. Mm hmm So I, and I was gonna say, I assume this must be Monica's room. What happened? Take a look at this. Oh, shit. The girl in this photo with Junko. It's Monica. I see. No wonder. She has a wicked face. Really? Looks like a normal smile to me. That just makes it creepier. Posing with Junko and Ashima and smiling like this. Yeah. The way this photo was placed here, I'd guess this is Monica's room. <laughs> no wonder she wants to be the successor. She worships Junko from the bottom of her heart. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But don't you think it's a little strange? What do you mean? Don't tell me you're still on about that ghost or whatever. If you're curious, you can question her yourself. Still... I thought Master would be here, since this is a hidden room and all. But I guess not. Still wondering about the logistics of that, that ghosts exist. Because again, I kind of had that fact uh, told to me by a friend in chat last week, so... Boy, this is confusing. Any secrets? Aha! Secrets! Oh, it's her diary. I don't give a shit. I think these were some of the magazines featured in the first game, right? Could be wrong, of course. Yeah, I'm out of here. I just... I don't... I don't know what to say at this point. There's... There's, like, so many things, like, being to told to me all at once, and I just don't know how to process it all. Just move on and hope that something happens. Whoa. My intuition says we're almost at the highest level. You're surprisingly correct. That spiral staircase must be connected to the roof. Got my burn ammo back. That's good. Um. What? Oh well. I think that was in the. I think that save was in the subway. Can I unlock this? There's still. This door is locked. No doubt about it. Master has to be on the other side of this door. Huh? You're not gonna lose your composure this time? You're not gonna like cling to the door and cry and shout and make ugly faces? <laughs> well, it's true that I might do that, but it's weird hearing it from someone else. When your purpose lies just before you, sometimes you need to be as calm as a corpse. Three. 
Two. That's a creepy one. example. Anyway, I'm not going to have some half-assed reunion now, but a full joyous reunion later. I was I thought she would like immediately start doing exactly what to, what Kamara thought she would do. And when that happens, I'll cry and shout and make ugly faces at Master's arms. Please don't. Are you sure he'd be okay with that? He wouldn't. There's no way he'd dislike it. Jeez, you don't understand men at all. You need to be in love. A woman in love is the most beautiful woman of all. Toko. I'll try to remember that. Yeah, just let her live in her fantasy world, Kamaru. There's the stairs. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's another, there's a thing over on the right, or left, not right, left, the left side, right here. There it is. Uh, M Makoto Naegi. Makes you go like, hey, the goddess was killed by Makoto Naegi. Don't go to this cool. This yada yada, yeah. Yada yada yada, we get it. We've all seen this before. Where's the beginning of the spiral? There it is. Something tells me this is like the final stretch, like the final room before the final boss. Am I the only one getting that feeling? Probably. Hopefully. Turn, turn, turn. I'm getting dizzy. You're right. Ugh. Do you have a paper bag on you? Just throw up over the edge. There you are. Just throw up over the edge. It'll be fine. Um, anything else? No, you should be good. That's it! This huge airship is the Excalibur! Does that thing even fly? It looks like a floating hotel. I mean, it flew when we got knocked out of it, so probably. Why is there just a lone battery? Thing? Whoa, that's Whoa! a lot of them! Nothing but chumps. Let's end this. <laughs> uh, what button was it to activate? Kill again. There we go. Don't get in my way. Your way? What are you talking about? Oh, really? You're actually shooting them? Listen, why not, right? It's the final stretch. I might as well. It's like right in front of me. Kamaru, this is the last time you have to put up with it. What is? What's going on? The fuck? Would you stand the hell still? Jesus. What's happening? Dun, 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 dun. Get him! There we go. Ow, Jesus Christ. This has to be the last one, right? Ugh, so damn annoying! Enough already! Whoa, oh god! Right. These ones I should be able to take out with just, uh... Ow, 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 Jesus fuck, ow! I'm getting a little tired. I know, Are you I know! Right, Togo? Yeah, of course I am. Worry about yourself.
There we go. There we go. See? Simple as that. Fuck! And... Boom. Come on! Just die already! Oh, shit! Battery, 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 battery. Gimme. I need the extra life. Is that it? Is that all of them? Yeah! Oh, thank God. Finally, we're free of interruptions. All right. All we gotta do now is get in the airship. Then let's hurry and end this. Okay, so I'm hoping this is gonna be the last chapter of the game. <laughs> Please let this be the last chapter of the game. Oh. What? Hey, Toko. Oh, okay. What? A lot of terrible things happen to me in this city. And I have a lot of bad memories. But I am so happy that I was able to meet you. Why are you saying this all of a sudden? You can say that stuff after everything's over. <laughs> You're right. Well then. Alright. Y'all ready? <sighs> They're lesbians. I'm sure that girl Monica is in that huge that. hall all the way in the back. Oh, I remember this place. Yeah. Ah. Let's do this. Oh, it's Chop. Yeah, 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 we know. You love Big Sister, you go. I'll hey, take your entire welcome. stock. Give me everything you got. Wait. Oh, wait a minute. Come on. Thanks for your business. Pleasure doing business with you, kiddo. For the last time, I'm hoping. Oh, boy. This is better than last time. Oh, break ammo. Is there anything we should do before we head in there? I'm going to check the hallways just in case. Oh, ooh, secrets, secrets. Diary. I think that's another diary as well. Yep, another diary. Uh, nothing over here. Um. Now we already went this way. Was that the music, or was that a Monokuma? That sounded like a Monokuma for some reason. No. Another diary. Another diary. And lastly. The family from the day before yesterday by Toko Fukawa. So this is also your book, huh? Why is there no synopsis written here? I'm sure you wouldn't know this, but that's not rare among pure novels. With an aim as prestigious as mine, you don't need a summary to move units. <laughs> that's because it's written by my friend. I at least want to know the synopsis. <laughs> Okay, as a friend, I'll tell you. This better not be anything perverted. Since you're listening to the author herself, you better clean your ears and listen carefully. All right, get your ego out of it. Your, uh, if you're, uh, I can't think of anything. Wait, oh, well, actually, never mind. It's fine. Continue. Don't mess with me. What's the problem? Calling me a friend like that to snatch my moment away from me? You sadist. Oh. It's not like that. I just think that maybe because it's your book, I should go into it cold. Well... If that's the case, I guess I understand. But you should be more clear when you speak. You startled me so much. You nearly made me forget the idea of my next book. Huh? Oh, you already have an idea for your next work? Isn't that obvious? Who do you think I am? I always have more than 200 ideas in stock. I just haven't decided which I need to use. 
Well, maybe it would be fun to write about your own experience, like in this town. You're right. Write about my own experience, huh? I've heard that advice before. But I've already decided not to write about this town. Or maybe I should say that even if I do end up writing something, I would never publish it. Mm -hmm. I'd want to read it, though. A novel about the city written by you. <laughs> like a novel written about me. About this town. And about what happened to you. Um... I'd rather keep it a memory. A memory just for myself. Oh, she's blushing. You can't see it with my face in the way, but she's blushing. No, that's wrong. <laughs> oh my god, she said the thing! Huh? Wait, what? What I mean is, it's not just your memory. It's both our memories together. <laughs> right? Hmm. You're an average idiot, but your hairstyle is weird. Jeez! It's not weird. My antenna is charming and really pretty. <laughs> God damn it. I don't know why that made me laugh. Jeez, I thought you were actually going to say something nice to me. Not in a thousand years. But you made me happy. Hmm? Did you say something? <laughs> you didn't hear me? Ugh. I said you're an average idiot with a weird high style and a brother complex. <laughs> really? I heard you say you made me happy. Don't mess with what? me! What? You, so you did hear me! Oh my god. They're, they're gay, and we love them for it. Anyways, moving on. We got a final boss to, to get to. Although... Uh, we get what's over here. Burn ammo full. Alright, you know what? Before we, oh, Jeez. never mind, there's cutscene. The atmosphere in here is practically screaming final boss fight. Toko, we're gonna be all right, aren't we? We've come this far already. Don't go freaking out now. They should be scared of us. You're right. Yeah, I guess you're right. After all, we're a powerful team. Wait, powerful team? Can't you think of a cooler name than that? We got no time for cool names, well, Toko. Well, think of one. You're the ultimate writing prodigy, after all. Yeah, you're right. I'll think of something after the happy ending. Yeah, after the happy ending. Guys, this is Danganronpa. There's never a happy ending. There's always a bittersweet ending, but never a happy ending. Anyways, mm, what I was going to say before that cutscene plays w played was that I was going to go get up and stretch before this, because I have a feeling this... This is going to be a, a long one, so let's see. So I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere.
folks, I've returned! Sorry it took so long. I had an amazing dinner with my family. So, y'all excited? I'm excited. Ooh. Excited to finally finish this freaking game. Die. <laughs> Glad, glad to see you're excited to see you, guy. Oh! Hey, hey! So you finally decide to show up, huh? Oh, God, it's you! You're the bastard that took my throne! So slow! This isn't a manga. It shouldn't take a whole year for a day to pass. The Black Monokuma? What is he? He looks vulgar. You might want to watch your phrasing, kid. Hey, fuck off, four eyes! I wouldn't expect some pasty four-eyed emo chick to understand my charm. I get no respect. Yo, I'm so baller, if a professional musician ever came to my concert, they'd retire the next day. I'd make them choke on the haterade. And you're gonna be choking too when I'm done with you. Again, the phrasing. Calm the fuck down. What is this thing? Collaborating on with its nonsense. First of all, fuck it. She's a godlight. Monokuma voice, lol. Yeah, I love, I love doing my freaking Monokuma voice. I will take any opportunity to do my Monokuma voice. Could it? Does it have an AI like Shirokuma? Did you say Shirokuma? So you know him, huh? How's little bro doing? Brothers? Well, he's like a brother. We bear folks stick together, you know? But that ain't important. Don't you think it's strange, huh? Weird? I'm talking about why Monica ain't here. To tell you the truth, it's nap time for little Monica. Nap time? Oh yeah, she's still a kid after all. She wore herself out being all hyped up. What? What is this? If you're brave enough chicks to disturb her nap, you can always try opening the door. Which door? Hell if I know. Monica made this little trap to keep out big mouths like me, see? If you open the wrong door, blammo! Instant dust! <laughs> Hello, nasty! But if you leave her be, she'll sleep for like three years! Now what you what you gonna do? Hurry! Choose! Damn it, you're making me impatient! Kamaru, you've seen that Monica kid before, right? So what do you think? Any idea which door she would choose? Uh, the green one? Hmm. Rather than choose, it's more like, which would she even be able to access? But it can't be that simple. He said it's a trap, so it can't be easy. Yeah, he is. Kind of fitting, considering, um... I was gonna say fitting, considering that most of the game is just a bunch of talking anyways, but that probably makes no sense. Yeah, you're right. <sighs> Are you sure? If you solve this quiz, you won't get to hear all the bitchin' lines I worked on! Uh, maybe later, Kurakuma. Quick question, are you on the first run or NG plus? Just curious. This is the, uh... Hmm. This is the first run I'm on, so... Yeah. Why wouldn't the green board door be the first one? I mean, she'd be able to access it, like... Damn uh, it! I can't get these copyrighted songs out of my head! I'm bugging out! I'm talking here! She mentioned how... She it's one that she'll be able to access. Plus, it's in her color, so it would make sense. <laughs> you died twice on it, lol. Maybe it's one hmm. of the trapped, one of the trapped ones too. Maybe, but I mean, it <laughs> it would make sense. There's a ramp here, and it, besides, it's not like this one would be her door, you know? You know? The title of Voice of a Generation hasn't been taken yet, so I think I'll take it. Thank you! Can I shoot this guy? I mean, his weak spot's right open. Should I try it? <laughs> oh, come on! Oh, come on! Why not? You could have at least have him, like, do a reaction, like, Hey, this would be way too easy to kill me right here. Come on, stop taking this so seriously and help me come up with ways we can combine together. <laughs> you keep that in your fur, buddy. I remember this one I did. Oh, wait, I already read that one. God damn it. Oh, fuck's sake. Okay.
Okay, now I'm nervous. It, it would make sense, right? Well, okay, yep. Victory! And that's the end of the third arc! Moving on. Maybe it's the blue one. Nobody would ever think she would use the blue door, so they'd die in the trap. If one of these doors is correct, we have a one in three chance of getting it right. Don't rely on probability. Think about it. Smack your head and remember. Hitting my head might make me forget. Might be a clue. Okay. You know what? There's no way, seriously, the red door, right? <laughs> oh my god, are you serious? Line. I knew it. You can stand. Your legs aren't paralyzed. Oh? Huh? But you look at that. You're totally right. I probably should have guessed by the ladder, but I mean, to be fair, I don't know. And you were like that from the beginning, right? You just pretended to be disabled. Uh, don't tell me. You saw my secret room, didn't you? So it was her room. So that was your room. <laughs> God damn it. Oh I saw the gosh. photo of you and Junko, so I figured that was your room. But something didn't add up. To even get to that room, you have to climb up a ladder. There's no way oh you would God. make a place like that your room if your legs were disabled. I see. So that's how you figured it out. <laughs> Not the first time, you might sadly. Have a stupid looking face, but you sure are pretty smart. But why pretend that you're disabled? Because pitiful children are the most powerful, don't you think? Huh? Huh? Again, we're on the same wave wavelength here. Monica's home life was terrible. She didn't feel like she belonged there. But Monica was more brilliant than her brother or her father. And they hated her for it. But then, I thought of a way I could counter their neglect and cruelty. All I had to do was become a pitiful figure. Then, I would have the whole world sympathy. The wheelchair was inconvenient, of course. But thanks to the act, I acquired much. I even acquired the Warriors of Hope. Woof. And Papa and Big Brother were a little nicer to me, too. They thought they were the reason I ended up in a wheelchair, so they really pitied me. You tricked everyone all this time. You... You're the worst. You're more awful than all the other kids. Maybe. Mm -hmm. But to survive in that horrible world, I had to be. When Monica talks, everyone freezes. When Monica smiles, everyone stops smiling. For Monica, the outsider, the eyesore, to survive in that house, she did what she had to do. I want to ask you, the Papa and Big Brother you mentioned, are they from the Toa family? Oh, so you know that much too. See, Toko? Wasn't a hallucination? The ghost was real. So the paranormal's it's real? It's a coincidence. Delusion and fantasy with a little coincidence mixed in. I'm confused. What? It's true. Fantasy and reality overlap sometimes. I'm so desperate to make my fantasies real. Oh, 
I wonder if that actually, like, says... I don't know if that's actually gibberish or if, like... That's why whenever I think about it. the girl I like, I strip her naked in my mind and pose her. What is? Okay, now is not the time for that talk. Silent mode. <laughs> So you're the one who made Kamaru come here by using that skinny white-haired boy, right? Why would you do something that could compromise your own plan? My plan? Oh, you mean the children's paradise. Well, personally, I don't really care about that. Monica has a much more important job to do. Yeah. Does it have something to do with the successor? Yep, that's right. The successor is the most important thing to Monica. And for that plan, I wanted you to come this far, Big Sis. Stop calling us that! After all, you are essential for the successor. Huh? Just what I'd expect from the little sister of the ultimate hope. You're so impressive, Meow. Completely different than when I first met you. Now, you have the face of a savior. Savior? Kamaru has the face of a high school girl you'd find anywhere. But who cares about any of this? Hurry up and hand over the key to Master's room. Key? Monica doesn't have anything like that. Don't play dumb. Hand it over. Like I said, I don't have it. You want to strip search me to make sure? Please don't. Monica doesn't mind. But weren't you guys in a hurry? Oh. I completely forgot we were after that. You want to break this controller, right? You want to stop Mr. Monokuma, right? Yep! Please! Put me out of my misery! I've had enough of this game! It, is that...? Monica Toa, Chief Executive of Toa Group Robotics Branch. This is the magic that Monica invented. And as long as Monica has her magic, Monica can control the Monokumas and the Monokuma Kids. Yeah, this You're game the one could be fucked up sometimes. Them too? Huh? You didn't know that? Hmm. This idiot brat slipped up. In that case, I'll make you hand over the controller by force. And after that, I'm going to make you hand over the key to Master's room with even more force. Hmm. No, I don't think that's possible. After all, I have a trump card. Don't tell me. Is it Big Bang Monokuma? A trump card? A super big, awesome battle robot the Toa Group Robotics Branch created. That is Monica's masterpiece. It's so much better than the other Warriors of Hope robots. So, Mr. Kurokuma, I leave it to you. Wait, what? Hell yeah! Leave it to me, Monica! What is happening? What? Oh! It's just a conglomerate of all the other her boss fights. Please get out of my face. Up. We're in the thick of it now. Black bear, white bear, hell nah, I'm my own bear. Uh, as expected of a final boss, this one's different than the other robots. It's really Let's do our them best all with the combined. Boom boom and beat this thing with a kablam. Well, that's not how I would have said it, but nevertheless, I am feeling pretty fired up. The blinking part looks suspicious. Oh, this blinking Kamaru, part. Let's end this. Oh. Yeah. Ouch. God damn it. Uh. Yeah. Who's a bad boy? Who's a good boy? Who's a normal boy? How the fuck do I avoid that one specific? Oh. Wait. 
What am I doing? I feel like a fucking idiot. The only that was the only blinking part. This is for the sake of forget his name. The priest guy, the adult will hate it. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, Those are the only blinking the parts. Drill. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Damn. No, that doesn't work. Yeah, you know the fucking drill. <laughs> I get it. The fucking drill. Oh, blinking part. The vulgar one came out. I gotta aim for him. Oh, I actually have to shoot him. There's no weak point there. You sure try hard. Do you really want to save the adults that badly? Not really. Do you not really. really want the burden of hope on your shoulders? I don't know. Ah, fuck. One day is 24 hours? Ah, too damn short. I need some insomnia, because sleep is the cousin of death. All right. Thank God that I equipped that book this when I did. Take up. Forget his name. The priest guy. The adults will hate it. Wait, 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 wait. What the fuck? Yeah. Whoa! Come on. Just let me get behind you, you Watch dick. Out. It might be a nuclear warhead. Or was it nuclear? It's pronounced nuclear. <laughs> Please tell me someone gets that this joke. This is for the sake of... I forgot his name. Um... That hero guy who got bullied by a dog! Nah! Okay, there's one more, I think. Yeah, you know the fucking drill. Yeah, we know the fucking drill. Now stand the fuck still! Wait, don't shoot! I was just about to go donate to charity! <laughs> eh, fuck you. There we go. If there's a Nobel Prize for Monokumas, I got it in the bag! Hey, that's my Nobel Prize! Wait a minute. Yeah, you know the fucking drill. Wait a minute. Okay, those, so I can't touch those. All right. Yeah, you know the fucking what? drill. You okay, Toko? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Don't Who's touch a bad the bomb. Who's a good boy? Who's a normal boy? Okay, where's... Come on, let me hit you. Uh, got it! Now this is straight up stimulating! What a shocking turn of events! Can I get rid of those? Who's a bad boy? Who's a good boy? Who's a normal boy? I'm not a boy, period, so... Yeah. Come on. Could you please hit one? Jesus! Who's a bad boy? Who's a good boy? Who's a normal boy? Ugh, come on. What? What's happening? This is for the sake of the sage guy. The one who got crushed by his heavy burden. No! Gonna be honest, I think yeah, I you know get on you, but drill. for not remembering their names, but honestly, I can't remember their names, so sorry. Yeah, There's... you know the fucking drill. I do know the fucking drill. And let me fucking shoot you so I can get this boss fight One fucking day, over with. 24 hours? Ah, too damn short. You need some insomnia to sleep. Huh? Is Monica about to lose? <sighs> there we go. Whoa. 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 Hey, what the fuck? Hey. Hey. What's with this? What? Hey, hang on. Hang on. That's a bot. Hang on. Um... No, 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 Jesus Christ, no. Okay, god fucking damn it. Where did that come from? Jesus Christ, okay. Back to where we were. I hope that didn't show up in the feed, because my god. She looks pretty happy at the ha? Oh, that's just her. Bye! -bye. <laughs> Good riddance! Huh? You're kidding me. Monica lost? That's right. 
Now, be a good little girl and just give up. Don't phrase it like that. Oh, no! Is Monica gonna be killed? I don't wanna die. No, there's no way I'd kill you. Of course not. But if you don't hand over that controller, it will not be pleasant. No, that's no good. If this controller is destroyed, Monica's plan will fail. Good! And if that happens, Monica can no longer be the successor. Who wouldn't have been a good successor to begin with? That's enough! Just hurry up and hand it over, or I swear I will spank you good! No, 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 no! Oh. Fine. If I break this, the Monokuma stop, and the brainwashing helmets will deactivate, right? And then this uprising will be over. But that was... well, it was kind of easy. Is it really okay? Yeah, I don't think it's over. <laughs> Ramen broth and climaxes should always be light. Uh... Stop, I guess? Or would you prefer an ending that has us getting beaten up and thrown from one despair to another? Just like your older brother. I, I don't want that, but... Well, you're forgetting the real happy ending comes after we rescue Master. No. So let's hurry up and end this. Uh, um... It's really okay to break this, right? It's obviously okay. You can stop the Monokumas and the brainwash gets lifted. Right. Wait, wait, she smiled. Wait, hang on. Wait, I get a choice in this? I remember this point, it was never nerve wracking to get past the multiple options. Oh, there's multiple? Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not breaking it. There's obviously something wrong here. What? Guy Geiga, calm down. What? What are you doing? Jesus Christ! S sorry, something is concerning me. Concerning you? Concerning you? Concerning or disconcerting? Could it be that maybe you want to be Monica's ally at the last minute? So you're hesi- hes- No need to hesitate! Just break the controller! End this already! Yeah. <laughs> you're right. No! Please, wait! Oh god, it's you! Y you Why are you here? Don't! Don't break the controller! Yay! Kotoko, you came to save- Shut up! Who the hell would want to save you? Huh? I didn't know breaking the controller would also end the brainwashing. That would be bad. If it's just the Monokumas, that's fine. But the kids, we lose all the friends we made. If that's... that happens, I'm gonna be all alone. What friends? You brainwashed them. Shut up, Monica, lol. Oh my but god. Even then, I don't want to be alone. Please, pretty please. Kotoko's right. Don't break that controller. If you don't, I promise, I'll kill all of the adults and build paradise. Sh shut your mouth, traitor! Kotoko, why are you saying such mean things? We're friends. N no, we're not! You're just a traitor who killed your own friends! Oh, please. Please forgive me. Let's just forgive and forget. Live in the now. Let's kill adults together again! Shut up! Be quiet! Die! What's going on? Just let those idiots fight. Hurry up and break the controller! N no Stop! Please! Leave me just some hope! I'll even settle for just a little! W what hope? You really think there's hope for you guys? Miss Kumara just Nike, know. please listen to Monica's request. Please. Make the right choice. If you don't choose right, you're gonna replay this moment over and over. 
So make the correct choice and end this properly. Y'all can't see it, but that is a that is a terrifying face. What? Oh, what is it now? Don't break it. It's the same fucking option. Don't break the controller. Oh my god, there's another one! Stop! Jesus Christ! I'm gonna, uh, hide this user and remove. Jesus! What's with the fucking bots? My God, how do I fucking get rid of those? Anyways, Kamaru? what happened? Huh? You're not gonna break it? That's weird. Why not? Didn't you want to stop those crazy kids? Didn't you want to be the heroine of this dirty, lame penal colony? Didn't you want to be everyone's hope? Just like your brother? I. Are you sure? If you don't break the controller now, this will just repeat over and over. Hold on a second. This is backwards. Why do you suddenly want her to destroy the controller? Because this is a magic scene! A happy ending scene with all the Monokumas and Monokuma kids! Done for good! Right! You're not really making a convincing argument, kid. I ignore her! It's okay! You yeah, she is creepy. the controller get destroyed Sh shut up you be quiet toko what should i do dude we made this choice twice already just don't break the damn controller i will leave that decision to you if you break it the kids in the mask go to forever sleep notice that she said monica kids too Ugh. <coughs> <coughs> yeah jesus but, but however because I'm leaving it to you, I will share the responsibility as well. So, just do what you think is best. What I think is best. If you make me make the same decision again, I swear. <sighs> Don't break the controller! <clears throat> I don't think it's a good idea to break it. At least, not right now. Th that's right. Good. Thank you, Big Sis. Thank you so much for not breaking Monica's special controller. Jeez, which side are you on? It would be such a bummer if the end credits started rolling before all the cast was here. What? Hmm. You'll be here soon. Probably running down the hallway right now. Wait a See? minute. His hand's on the door. Oh God, no! Found you, Monica. No, come on. See, just like Monica said, bullseye. We do have a sibling connection after all. Y you? Why are you here? Big Brother came to save Monica, right? No. They're being so mean. Everybody's bullying Monica. Monica's getting picked on by the kids and the adults. Isn't that awful? Big brother, save Monica. He's, oh, God, what's going to happen? Don't tell me that's what you're actually here for. <laughs> oh, God. Don't be an idiot. Who the hell's going to save you? Big brother? Stop calling me that! You're not my sister! You're just the old man's mistake. I didn't want you around. I never thought of you as family. Why? Why are you being so mean? Monica's just a yeah, child. Yeah, spare eyes. You're no child. You're a brat who never learned her place. And now it's biting you in the ass. It's over, Monica. I'm finishing this now. Please. Stop it, brother. I'm scared. Uh, 
Mr. Haichi... So that's the controller for the Monokumas. Huh? What are you doing? Hurry up and destroy it! End this nightmare already! Please stop! If you destroy the controller, all of Monica's hard work will be wasted! I won't be able to create the successor. I won't be able to inflict despair on the world! How crazy are you? Now hurry! Hurry and destroy it! I, I know, but... Don't! You can't destroy it! This is some kind of trap! Destroy it! Destroy it, Kamaru! What's going on? That's what I'm wondering. And she's still smiling. No, I'm not breaking it. Us. What is this? Why are you siding with those brats? I I'm not siding with them or anything. Did you forget what they did? If that's the case, then shut up and listen. Listen? All this time, the people outside were watching. They saw you defeat Monica's robot. What is happening? What? You did this, didn't you? You're filming all of this! Hmm? Huh? Monica has no idea. They're still watching. They're waiting for you to destroy that controller. Everyone expects it from you. They're waiting for you to wake them up from this nightmare. You showed us hope. You yep. were able to finally stand up to those brats because of your speech. That's why I'm even here. That's why I'm not afraid of these kids anymore. It's all thanks to you. You are hope itself to us. But if you still can't make up your mind, I'll just have to help you choose. Oh God, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Oh! Tell them what you've done. Everything. The whole truth. Then there's no way they'd side with you. Uh, everything? The reason why you want a successor. Everything. Tell them the truth. Or I'll make sure you regret it. Fine. I'll talk. What is happening? It all started when I was still attending the Hope's Peak Academy Elementary School. Monica did a little prank to convince the Warriors of Hope to commit suicide. W wait what That was a prank? Oh, of course. Monica didn't intend to end her own life at all, but you all took it so seriously. And around then, Monica met Big Sis Junko with the most miraculous timing. The moment Monica saw her, Monica understood. Big Sis Junko is light itself that will shine down on Monica's boring little world. It's a miracle! Thank you, God! At least, at the time I thought it was a miracle. But later I learned it was inevitable. She came into my life just to take advantage of me. Take advantage? By then, Monica was already a chief executive at Toa Group's robotics branch. Oh, Big Brother, I'm sorry about that. Wasn't it painful to watch your little sister surpass you? And I'm also sorry to you, Kotoko. You didn't want to hear that little truth, did you? Big Sis Junko yes. only cared about Monica. The other warriors of hope were just bonuses. D don't make stuff up! Big Sis loved us all! Love? What are you talking about? There's no way someone would love you. Your own parents didn't even love you. Okay, we're going there, aren't we? Christina V is awesome as this as the crazy characters. I don't know who that is. If she's a voice actor, that that is definitely true. <laughs> Enough. Just keep talking. I I'm sorry, I got it. Stop, big brother. Uh, at first. 
fixed his Junko was looking for a corporation that could mass produce yeah, machines. Yeah, that makes sense. So that she could use them for the tragedy. That's why, to meet her expectations, Monica started making all the Mr. Monokumas. So that explains why Toa co Corporation started making them. Concentrating all of the resources of Toa Group's robotics branch. And just what was everyone else at Toa doing? Why did no one stop you? I lied. To Papa and Big Brother. I told them I was building robots that could be domestic helpers and emergency aid workers. And the adults actually bought that story? No, it's more like... We turned a blind eye. She was the outsider in our family. But she's tenacious. With a genius intellect. As long as she kept earning Toa Group money. We let her do whatever she wanted. The real villain of the story. Capitalism! This brat took advantage of her position. And started mass producing these monsters on her own. I didn't know what the machines were even for, so as usual, I let her be. But I did think they had a weird design. And thanks to that, Monica made Big Sis Jinko so happy. She started using them for the incident. That's what helped the incident get bigger and bigger. That's when the old man finally realized what was up. And when he tried to stop you. It's a little too late to stop producing the Monokumas anyway, right? If we stopped, Big Sis Junko would reveal the whole thing. She would make it known that Toa Group built all those murder machines. And if she did that, Toa Group's finished. Monica, are you threatening me? Jeez, Papa, that's not it. It's more like... A business opportunity. This little bitch sold us the idea of making a weapon to fight the Monokumas. Y you made them, and then you sold the weapons to fight against them as well? The more mm -hmm. out of hand the situation got, the more profitable Toa became. Huh. Just what a filthy demon would do! We didn't have a choice. We were in too deep. If we went against the Despair group, they'd reveal what Monica did under Toa's name. Then Toa makes enemies with both forces. We'd be shunned. Go extinct. Anyways, yeah, it's not a bad thing. Toa group did the right thing and chose to coexist with the Despair. And to the public, they looked like heroes fighting against the incident. But behind the scenes, they were working for both sides. The reason that air purifier they developed was so effective was because... They were part of the cause in the first place. That's why the incident didn't hit them as hard. Those idiot adults didn't know that. So they worshipped Toa Group like they were saviors. Ah, uh, capitalism. But you better not blame this all on me. By the end, even Papa was into it. He supported the incident for money and honor. He ended up being a patron of Big Sis Junko. Toa Group? Junko Enoshima's patron? So that's why you distanced yourself from Future Foundation. You didn't want to get found out. Oh boy. No matter how rotten it is, Toa Group is still my legacy. I want to protect it. Your legacy is currently... Your legacy is already burning to the ground as it stands. Just let it burn. But the good times had to end eventually. Just when things were gonna get much, much more fun, Fixus Junko died. All thanks to your brother, Miss Komaru Naegi. Since then, Future Foundation gained power, and Big Sis's influence got weaker and weaker. Monica tried her best to rebuild it by any means necessary, but Papa just said it's over and gave up. Like all the fickle, wishy-washy adults do. Papa betrayed Big Sis. No matter what Monica said, Papa just wouldn't listen anymore. And you couldn't forgive him for that, could you? That's why you targeted this city. That's what you told us, right? All we gotta do is fulfill the hopeful dream Big Sis Junko gave us. We shouldn't give up. We can't abandon hope. We need to build a paradise and take revenge against the adults who betrayed us. Monica is so grateful to the warriors of hope. Adults are dirty demons who killed Big Sis. You guys killed them off so well for me. They were your tools. I was so happy. 
It was just as I thought. Kids are so simple-minded. <clears throat> the truth is, Monica didn't really care about things like revenge and paradise. Succeeding Bixis's will was far more important. Monica doesn't want Junko and Ashima's legacy to end. So that's how you came to the brilliant conclusion that you should become the successor? <sighs> She's a true monster right now. Yeah, indeed, she is. And in order to become the successor, what exactly did you do? Big Sis used to say all the time that she wanted to paint the world with despair. If someone could do that, don't you think they would make the best successor ever? What do you mean? War! Huh? Causing war. If a war breaks out, the world topples back into despair, right? War? What are you talking about, brat? Yeah, that's what I suspected. She wanted to create senseless war, just like the incident. You're bluffing. You're trying to trick us again, aren't you? You've got some ulterior motive. If you think so, why don't you just break that controller Ms. Komaru has? Break the controller, then start a war. Wait, why would a war break out if this controller is destroyed? I told you she's bluffing. She's just using reverse psychology. Ow! Hey, don't call Monica a liar. You told me to talk. I told you to tell the truth, not spew more of your lies. Enough of this. No more talk. Destroy that controller right now! You know what my answer's gonna be, right? Like... Huh? Hey. Hey, what are you doing? Don't tell me you seriously trust what this kid said. I mean, you did see her smiling at the beginning of every single, um, decision, right? She's obviously trying to get us to destroy it for some some of that ulterior motive that you mentioned. Anna... Oop. What does Anna Oop mean? <sighs> It's not happening. W wait, no! I can't break it yet! So, you're taking this little brat's word over mine? Yeah, because quite frankly, I don't trust you either. It's not like that! But please, wait! I remember! Remember what? A while ago, Monica and Kuro Kuma were having a secret talk. I was listening in. What are you talking about? Get to the point. She's getting to the point. Shut your fucking mouth. At the time, I thought they were kidding. But maybe they weren't. If that's the case, this is very bad. What are you talking about? The Monokuma heads the kids are wearing. They're linked to the Monokuma's power source. If that power source is cut off, the helmets explode. Explode? Oh. Oh, I didn't know you'd be blowing their heads off. I thought they'd just... Topple over and just never wake up. If you destroy the controller, the Monokuma stop, but all the Monokuma heads will blow up! And then, headless children everywhere! Oh, come on, an exploding helmet? You expect us to believe that made up bullshit? Like that. She betrayed the Warriors of Hope. She could do it without even feeling guilty about it. So, so mean, Kotoko, making me out to be the bad guy. You are the bad guy! Monica doesn't want the controller to be destroyed. Bitch. A rift in the Ass group, motherfucker. Now, huh? Well, if you're both lying, you need to get your story straight. No, I'm serious! I heard it! That's enough. Destroy that thing already. It's not going to happen. It's not happening. Hey, you stay away, hey, asshole. What are you doing? Why aren't you destroying it? Because the children might die if I do. They're bluffing. I've been trying to tell you. But even if there's a small chance they're not, I can't do it. I'm losing my marbles, lol. <laughs> the kid's wearing those helmets. They're just being brainwashed. None of this is their fault. Not everyone involved was doing this of their own will. Brainwashing? 
Are you serious? Who the hell cares about that? Huh? After all this, that excuse is not gonna fly! Even if they all died, they had it coming! You've seen what they did to us! They deserve it! Alright, calm the fuck down. You can't be serious. You're just blinded by revenge. Maybe I am. But how could I not be? After what they did to us, not even the harshest revenge is enough to make me forget what I've been through. Listen. Listen outside. The screams of the adults, the ones who lost everything. Our loved ones were butchered by those little brats. They took everything from us. Yeah, jail for Haiji. Jail but for Haiji. You were the one who told us to stand and fight, right? It's because of your speech that we're even here right now. If you really are our ally, then finish this. <laughs> you are. You're our hope. Please. Don't betray us. Don't try and guilt trip me with this Please. shit. Please, just... Hold on a minute. You can't fool me. Me? Yeah, you. No, idiot. You. I'm talking to you. Hmm? Aww. Are you talking to Monica? I get it now. What you meant by war. You're trying to start a war between Toa City and Future Foundation. What? The children are killed. What would Future Foundation do when they found out? They think the adults who survived were behind it. And then they find out Toa Group was involved with manufacturing the Monokumas. From that evidence, I'm guessing Future Foundation would think the adults were remnants of despair. And if that happens, Future Foundation would crush this town immediately. I didn't, thi I didn't think of that, that's actually. That's the idea, isn't it? <clears throat> nope, that's not quite it. Because it won't just end with the war between Toa and Future Foundation. Huh? Future Foundation isn't the only one who'd see the adults as remnants of despair. The true remnants of despair that are spread all over the world, they'd learn about the war in Toa City, and they'd come charging in. Toa City would become the heart of a resurgence of the despair that Big Sis Junko left us. Worthy of the name of Junko and Oshima. Wouldn't you agree? Are you serious with this? She can't be... She's bluffing anyway. Even if it were true, all you'd have to do is explain the situation to Future Foundation, right? It's not that simple, Haiji. And you're with them, right, Toko? I mean, you could straighten this all out easily. Hmm... I don't know. Because the city shares a past with the incident, they won't take any chances. The moment they see the headless bodies of children in the streets, it's over. They wouldn't even care about their hostage or Miss Toko's testimony, don't you think? What? Child victims have quite an impact on people. It's just like I said from the beginning. Pitiful children are the most powerful. So that was your plan. You need the adults to take revenge so they will cause more child victims. You chose adults with no children because you thought they'd kill the kids with no remorse. I mean... Adults with no children wouldn't have a single bit of mercy, would they? It depends on the adult, honestly. Wait, then. We were... We were sorted and kept alive. You used Kamaru to incite the adults to take revenge against the kids, didn't you? Huh? <laughs> uh... Monica may have helped things along, but Miss Kamaru's transformation was her own doing. That delicate little girl maturing, growing to overcome the despair as hope itself. Yeah, it sure is, man. It sure is. You even grew to care about this town, wanting to save it, becoming the hope for the adults. But even so, you know hope isn't always a good thing. At times, hope can be a terrible bird drive to hurt others, just like now. That's... What did you think would happen if you gave people who watch their loved ones die hope? Did you think they'd all be positive, working together nice and peacefully? Of course not! They will turn into demons. Demons who live for revenge. You see? Just listen to them. Jeez. 
Jesus Christ. They're fucking savages out there. Kill? But why? Why is this happening? It's because they've been waiting for you to destroy that controller for so long. What? Those people out there don't care whether or not the heads of the children are gonna explode. Rather, they sound pretty excited about it, don't you think? That's the sound of people who have completely transformed into demons. And this is all your fault, Big Sis. B me? It's because you stirred up the adults. It's your hope that turned them into demons, you know? So that makes it all, all, all your fault, Miss Komaru Naegi. What are you talking about? It's not Komaru's fault, it's yours! Wait! Listen to what she's saying! If what she said is true, then she should have wanted to destroy the controller right away. She could have just destroyed the damn thing herself. Then she would have her war. No, that wouldn't do. That would not be worthy of the successor, now would it? This is going on for a long fucking time. She, she can stand? She stood. Monica stood up? Yes. That's not important right now. Not just the city, but the whole world. How could this happen? That is some nice who's saying levels of planning. What's what, what is that? So anyways, what are you gonna do, hmm? How are you gonna end this? Are you gonna kill the children and play the savior? Or are you gonna spare the children's lives and let them keep slaughtering the adults? Who lives? Who dies? That is your choice. There's no way to save both. One side has to die, and you're going to kill them. <laughs> There's no way that's true, right? Also, yeah. Now, it's about time you made sense. your final choice. The final choice you can make as Komaru Naegi. Choose wisely. So... Do I still go with don't break the controller? I think I I think this is the right choice, but I'm not honestly sure. And I'm a little scared. Honestly, I'm a little scared. Um Don't break. Don't choose too quickly. My gut's saying I shouldn't agree to the and break the controller. So yeah, I'm gonna go with that. No. No, it's impossible. I... I can't break it. No, you're gonna break it, all right. Monica knows. Monica knows nothing. Huh? You're gonna destroy the controller, and then the children's heads are gonna explode! And that's when the war begins! And the successor, a new splendid symbol of despair, will be born! You don't know that! And, like, there's no way I'd ever accept you as a successor in the first place! There's no way you can be a vessel of Big Sis Juko! Kotoko, when did I ever say that Monica wanted to be the successor? Wait... So I was right! Kam is Kamaru gonna be the huh? successor? Monica's not the one who's going to be the successor. It's gonna be Miss Komaru Naegi. I freaking called it! Holy shit! I called it! <sighs> Paint the world with despair. That's what Big Sis Junko always used to say, you know? What could be more despair inducing than having Makoto Naegi's sister be the successor? So, the one who's gonna murder all these kids has to be Miss Komaru herself. What? what are you saying? Oh, don't worry. It's not hard. All you have to do is destroy the controller. You know we're not gonna do it anymore at this point, right? I've already prepared cameras so that the moment is recorded and sent to Future Foundation. With Monica's video message as a bonus set. Monica already declared that Miss Komaru Naegi will succeed the legacy of Big Sis Junko! What do you mean? Why would I... Like I said, don't listen to her. She's just trying to keep you from destroying it. <laughs> Big brother, you've just been saying that over and over. Adults don't like change. 
And as someone who lives in America, I can attest to this. You shitty little brat! Enough! Give me the controller. I'll destroy it myself! But if we do that, the children will die! What else are we supposed to do? We have to end this massacre. What about all the adults who died? Are we just going to forget about them? Don't go dragging us into your revenge. Kamaru has nothing to do with this. That's right. There's no reason to kill them. You don't have to be a part of this one bit. No need, no reason, no relation. That's the difference between Big Brother and Miss Komaru. This isn't personal for her. But I knew that might be a problem, so Monica made sure to make a special request. And that would be... To get Miss Komaru to want revenge. I needed help from her parents. No. <gasps> no. Well, come on over here. Let's open the gates of hell with Monica. You too, Mom and Dad. I thought those were your parents! The climax is gonna start soon. Your child will be born again as the successor to Junko and Oshima. <laughs> I thought those were your parents! I should have fucking guessed considering what? her dad what was the chairman. God damn it! Are you ready for this? Take a potty break? Get a list of insults ready for Monica? I would, but... Have you mentally prepared yourself to surrender to despair? Unable to suppress the urge to kill? Then I'll show you! No. There's no fucking way. Huh? Oh, no. My God. <laughs> oh. What? More bodies again? You don't have to show them, you know. I'm already well aware how terrible you are. After all this, you're still showing off killing adults? How crazy are you? Oh, God. Yeah. She probably wrote the message on the floor with her dying breath. But when she collapsed, the blood stuck. That's how those letters ended up on her skirt. Tomorrow? Makoto. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you notice? She wrote the names of her children before she died. You have such loving parents. I'm jealous. Family love. It sounds so nice. Something I've never felt my whole life. Jesus Christ! I figured they'd at least get out alive, but Jesus! Lies! It's just a lie. Those bodies... No, it couldn't be. There's no way! THH vibes? What's THH vibes? Normally a dying message <clears throat> is something like writing the killer's name. Oh, that's not a very convincing argument at all. You can't refute me like that. You hate me, don't you? You hate me, right? Oh, sugar happy havoc. Okay. I played with the bodies of your family like toys. And now you want to kill me, right? No, no, wait! That's a lie! Well, I'm not so sure about that. You said your parents are missing, right? Hey. What are you... Showing it to you right now, like this? That means it's gotta be true, without a doubt. Now, yeah, you gonna I know. Just forget the fact that this bitch murdered your own parents? Shame on you. Oh, fuck you, Haiji. That's not fair! You said she was bluffing a minute ago! You can't think of them as children. They're not anymore. They're the ones who are demons. Oh, would you fuck off with your blind revenge? Destroy that controller and finish it! Kill them all! Not just for your sake, or your parents' sake, but for everyone who was murdered! Hold on. We can't just do something like that. Please do. Please punch him. I would like you that.
It's fine. Kamaru? If you want me to destroy it that much, I'll do it. Don't! I said hold on. Calm down and think carefully. Come Shut up! <laughs> Who cares anymore? No matter what happens to adults, no matter what happens to children, no matter what happens to this town, no matter what happens to the world, I don't give a damn anymore! I don't give a damn! Kamaru? Togo, I'm sorry, I... <laughs> it's impossible. I... I can't become like Makoto. This is all determined from the very start. The hope you felt was just for the sake of making you feel the worst kind of despair. I knew from the beginning that you would fall into despair. I'm still given the choice for this, right? Oh, there it is. What? What just happened? Uh, I'm not even given a choice here? Choose the right on white. Choose the right on white text. Okay. Yeah. Um. Who's texting me? Oh, I just swept it again. Yeah, I'm. Wait, we're playing a... What's happening? Just hand that over! No! I won't give it to you! I need to protect this controller! I need to for Kamora's sake! What are you talking about? She was going to destroy it! That's not how she really feels. I'm sure she's actually thinking that... that she doesn't want to do it. Huh. How the hell could you possibly know that? I, I don't know yeah. how, I just know! Huh? I've been told you weren't the type to interfere. That's why I chose you to take on the role of Escort. But it appears that the information Mr. Servant provided was false. What are you doing? So, how about this? That's right! It's the key to the room where Mr. Byakuya Togami is locked inside! Say, you want to trade this key for that controller? If you do, you can go home with Mr. Byakuya Togami! You're... Telling me to choose between Kamaru and I don't really and know Master? where it came from. <laughs> now it's your turn to make a choice. Fine then. Hand over Master's key. I knew you'd do it. Now, why don't you just hand me that controller? Toko! No, not gonna happen. Huh? Because I'm taking Kamaru home with me as well. What are you saying? You gotta make a choice, that's the rules. Who, who cares about your damn rules? You want me to make a choice? There's no way I could ever make that choice. I wouldn't choose one and leave the other behind. Both are, both are important to me. So, so, I'll definitely protect both. What the heck? That's just Oh God, he's vibrating. Enough already, just hand over the controller. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Crush it. I'll never... I'll never hand it over! Oh my god! Do you want me to hurt you even more? Hurt? That means nothing to me. I'm sure you don't understand, since you have plenty of disposable friends, but... I finally made a friend in Komaru, and I'm not going to hurt my friend, so... I'll never hand it over. Shut up! In order to keep the kids under control and end this nightmare, this is the only way! No! We're the ones who are out of control! Ow! Let go! I won't let go! Hey! Let's 
happening? What are you guys doing? Uh, what the fuck? Huh? What is happening? Oh! That's a big it. Why is it? Why is it moving? Monica has no idea. The only ones who can control Big Bang Monokuma are your mm. mom. You are the ones who programmed it that way. How? Oh. 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 What the fuck is happening? What is happening? Maru? Oh! That hurts! What? You, you hit me! My hand hurts. But that's not the only thing that hurts. This is the first time I've ever slapped someone in the face. See what you've made me do? What? Come on. Hit me back. What? Why? Why? Isn't it obvious? It... It makes us even. I've never had a friend. So I... I don't know what to do in situations like this. So by her, do you mean... Biaku? I mean, not Biaku. <laughs> Do you mean Junko? It's like Asi Asa Ihana Asahina and Byakuya slap. Yeah. So just <laughs> for now, if you hit me, we're square, right? So hit me. Fine. Oh. That was pretty strong. Jeez. You're right. You're right. <laughs> My hand hurts. That's not the only thing that hurts. Yeah. We're the same. Oh, look at him! Oh my god! If you can't do something on your own, all I have to do is help you. If I can't do something on my own, all you have to do is help me. Helping each other. That's the advantage of working together, right? Yeah. Oh my god, that's so cute. And just so you know, I won't comfort you or pity you. I'm not good at that stuff. You did it really well just now, dude. And we still don't know if... if those were really your parents. We can't be distracted by the stuff that doesn't make sense. Focus on what's happening now. What do you want to do right now? Have you decided? Yeah, I want to protect both. I'm not going to play her sick little game. I'm going to save the adults and the children. <laughs> Greedy girl. Can't say I don't approve. Okay, okay. Now's not the time for euphemisms, Toko. Oh! Oh, God! Hi! <laughs> Thing. Looks like it's targeting us. Or maybe it's aiming for the controller. What it's... should we do? Fight. I'll fight. I've decided. I'll fight to protect everyone. Hell yeah. Toko, will you help me? Isn't it obvious? It's normal for friends to help each other. This is another fight. 
I don't think I'm ready for a fight after that. Kamaru, let's show them. You and I, the power oh of the God. ultra dangerous sisters. Oh my God! What's that? Hope versus a space plane. Well, you told me to think about it, so I did. What? Not satisfied? Not good enough for you? Oh God! Oh God! Um, what are you doing to Got Kamaru? It. I don't know how the fuck that works, but it works. This is so cool! But how am I supposed to avoid that, though? Okay. Oh, wait! Wait a minute! They're tracking you! No use running! You have to repel them! Oh, my God! Whichever, like, truthful... Oh, my God, that's cool! Hold on. That's so cool! Whatever truthful is needs, the eye glows that color! Oh my god! That's so cool! What's going on? What? What? So this one, well, yeah. ow! So this, that's why, oh my god! Uh, this one's not back, right? I won't lose. This is so freaking I won't cool! I not give up anymore. I won't abandon anyone. I won't give in. I won't fall into despair. What do I do for this, this one? This town is doomed. What do I do for this one? No! Impossible. <sighs> Try again. Kamaru, let's show them. You and I, the power of the ultra dangerous sisters. Ultra huh? despair girls. What's that? Well, you told me to think about it, so I did. What, not satisfied? Not good enough for you? Um, Kamaru, leave it to me. Leave what to you? This? Oh! Oh my god, that's so cool! Oh my god! Oh my god! Uh, what? What's happening? Oh my god! You know, as much shit as I, I gave this lose. game, I it. I won't oh my give god! Up I won't abandon anyone. I won't give in. I won't fall into despair. This town is doomed. I'll fall into despair. No, that's wrong. Oh my god, you really you are like tomorrow? your brother. You go, girl. Hell yeah! I know! Like, holy They're shit! They're tracking you. No use running. You have to repel them. Uh, 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 uh. Ow! All right, okay. Oh my god! How does that not work? Where's hard? I need health. I need health. What am I supposed to do here? What was I supposed to do there? It's okay. Leave it to me. Makoto's friend. Yeah, exactly. Dude. The fucking style this game has. It's awesome! You talk to me, and so I appear. Do I have to switch to Genocide Jack for that one? Not for this one. Just a 
sec. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I got an idea. No, not that one. Damn it. I meant to go for burn. Damn it. That's, uh, that's no. There we go. Oh my god, this is badass. God. It was so cool, but it's so sad. I kind of wish the rest of the game was like this, you know? You know what I mean? Well, wait, 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 no! I'm not giving up yet. No! We're trying again. Kamaru, let's show oh, them. Oh, that's frustrating. You and I, the power of the ultra dangerous sisters. Yeah, yeah, huh? yeah. What's that? Well, you told me to think about it, so I did. What, not satisfied? Not good enough for you? Kamaru, leave it to me. I shout. Now. What, what button do I press for, for Genocide Jack's thing? Oh, fuck. What am I supposed to do here? I legitimately don't know what to do here. Oh, I had to be Genocide Jack. Okay. Oh, shit. All right, cool. All right. Later. See you when we need you. All right. I won't lose. I won't give up anymore. I won't abandon anyone. I won't give in. I won't fall into despair. They're tracking you. No use running. You have to repel them. All right. All right. You get it now. Holy shit. I I I, I gotta say it. as much. I know I I'm frustrated this fight a little bit, but I still say it. this is cool. It's very cool. So I'm just shit. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, this is fucking cool. All right. Damn it. So All right. All right. Get up there, Jack. Jack, your chill went on. Went up the hill of the guy. I don't know. Unfortunately. Oh, wait! Get back, bitch! Alright. Uh, knockback. Get over here, bitch. Health. Oh my god, health. Thank you. Yeah, I have a bit of a conflicted feelings for this game, but when it does something right, it does something right. You know? You know what I mean? Wait. Wait. Oh, God damn it, I didn't fucking remember. God damn it. One more. Would you? God damn it. Health, health, gimme. Really glad I equipped that book and. Oh god! Uh. Oh no. No, 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 please. I can't lose now. Kamaru! I'm trying! Oh! Toto. That's supposed to happen! Kamaru and I are not alone. 
Hell yeah. As long as there are friends who help each other, there's no need to despair at all. I found it. I finally found hope. A hope to call my own. Right, Kamaru? <laughs> Fuck yeah, yeah, me too! Holy shit! Hope lives on! That's so What? What the hell did you do? You're kidding me. No. Big Bang Monokuma is our hope. It was leading you to your despair, jackass. That's. Oh, hi, Monok. Huh? <laughs> And now it's over. It, it's not over yet. Nothing's finished yet. This is just... It's just delaying the inevitable. The children are still brainwashed. The adults still want revenge. In fact, they're even more angry now, having their hope killed like that. So nothing's changed! This isn't a happy ending or a sad one. This isn't hope or despair. Nothing has changed. So are you gonna kill Monica? Take a little revenge for yourself? It's just fine. If Monica is killed by Makoto Naegi's sister, that should be enough to spare. Holy shit. Give me the key to Byakuya's room. Huh? Hand it over. Uh, at this point, I suppose I have to compromise. With no more hostage, future Foundation will come, and the remnants of despair will follow. Maybe it's not going exactly to plan, but maybe a small-scale war will start. I'll compromise. Monica has to be an adult sometimes, after all. But this really has nothing to do with you two, does it? Holy this shit. Town, this planet, they don't matter to you two. You just want your happy ending. You're not even letting me have a small taste of despair! <laughs> Yak all you want. Let's go, Kamaru. <sighs> Monica miscalculated. I overestimated you. Though I guess Monica was not the only one. You thought too highly of yourself as well. Monica tried to imitate Big Sis Junko. You tried to imitate your brother. But in the end, we both failed. Neither of us could live up to expectations. There's no way I could imitate him. And no way I'd want to. I am not my brother. Makoto is Makoto. And I am me. Why does this line remind me of Kingdom Hearts? Don't mess with me. An ending without hope or despair? Monica will definitely... Huh? What? I swear to God, if you... I better not hear you beg for your life just because your plan didn't work. Huh? You must have noticed by now. I was acting this whole time. But even now, I love you lots. Even though you betrayed me, my feelings haven't changed. The uh, fuck? So, it'd be great if you could die in a totally adorbs death. What? Bye-bye forever.
Oh no. Oh wait. Okay. Uh, big brother. Don't. Don't you want to take your revenge on Monica? Don't you want to kill Monica? You aren't satisfied with this, right? You aren't just gonna walk away. <laughs> we don't want it to end like this I. either. Big says Junko would hate me if I let it end like this. Hope, despair. I don't care anymore. <laughs> so this is what despair feels like. <laughs> uh. <laughs> ah. There's really no point worrying about it now. More importantly, we need to save Master and get out of here right away. Mm hmm? What's up? What's going on? W what happened? I, I know I can save both the adults and the children. Well, we can chat about it after we get out of this damn town, once and for all. Toko, I... I'm staying in this town. Huh? What? Oh, no, no, don't, no, not now of all time. No, please. No! Come on! <sighs> Come on, skip, skip. What happened? Your expression brings out the. C shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. <sighs> the horror will grow, will grow mild. I got an achievement. Epilogue. The changing world we made. Does that mean there's going to be more game I have to play? Please tell me this is just, like, something I have to watch and not, like, something I have to play, because I... I'm really tired. Huh? Uh. Oh, you're awake? You were lucky. <laughs> You would surely have perished if I wasn't there to save Nagito? you. Nagito? Why? I changed my mind and decided to stay in this town a while longer. And while I'm here, I figured I should see this through to the very end. That's not what I meant. Oh, you mean why I saved you? Because I'm the same as you. I'm disappointed. With endings that waver between despair and hope. I wish a real war had started. If it did, I know a brilliant hope would have been born. Ah, he that is why I allowed myself to be captured, after all. So you did it on purpose? But you aren't finished yet, right? Nothing has really changed since you began. So I need you to continue working hard. So that a splendid hope may be born. You have tasted the bitter despair of having your meticulous plan fall apart around you. So I know you can do it. Really? Which side are you on? Does it even matter? Anyway, why don't you be the successor for now? If that is your intention, I will lend you a hand. If my schedule allows it. Of course. 
There is somewhere I need to be later. What do you mean? I shall raise you to be her copy. One even more realistic than the real one. No! Someone like me, who both hates and loves her more than anyone else. I should be able to make you more like her than even she herself was. Epic foreshadow. Yeah, that is very messed up. <laughs> Are they still at it with that success or whatever? You're talking too loud. They'll hear you. They can hear all they fucking want. A bunch of chumps teaming up together makes them suck even more. Well, when you think about it, the plan was flawed from the beginning. What is Trying happening? To create a successor while the original still exists? I know this was kind of my idea, but kids sure are stupid idiots. Not just the kids. The adults are idiots, too. Just by causing a little unrest, just pushing them a teeny bit, I had them spinning around in the palms of my hands. Wait, what? Despite how you look, you sure are wicked inside. Even if the outside's white, the inside's pitch black. You a rice ball or something? I may be wicked, but you are too. After all, we are. No, not we. Maybe I... Or maybe it's me. <laughs> well, they're pretty much the same. White despair, black hope. In the end, neither won. But I guess that works too. I mean, I didn't really give a damn about this town from the beginning. The fact that those Juco? guys will take an interest in this place will yield a much more fruitful harvest. Hey, don't you think so? Personally, I think they did a pretty good job for a group of kids. Hey, hey, don't you think so? Thanks to them, the preparations are nearly complete. Laying the foundations for the final match. It's so despairingly perfect. Wait a minute. Hey, 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 don't you... Uh... Oh, you're so forceful. What, what? Am I being too noisy for you? I see. Oh my god, I it's... I still felt such emotions. Or perhaps, you're forcing yourself to feel something in a situation like this. Well, not that it matters. Anyway, I leave the rest to you. Though I'm sure the next time I see you, you'll be someone else entirely. That's how... Ooh, 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 ooh. I hope you can at least have a little fun. I hope the future is going to be one you can't predict. You know, I often keep forgetting this is a prequel for the second game, but Jesus Christ. Oh, I was waiting to hear from you. Hi, Makoto. I'm so relieved. I'm glad you're safe, Byakuya. Oh, God, not him. Well, safe enough, I suppose. Are you outside Toa City? You must be if this connection is secure, right? Oh, actually, I've already beaten Goodbye Despair. I have this whole series on it on my VOD channel. Again, link in the description. Though I did have a beard and also thought it was a boy, so, um... Keep that, keep that in mind with the Grand Assault when you watch the first two episodes. The rest of them should be fine. <laughs> he kinda does, doesn't he? Yeah. I used the secret passageway under the shrine. The captives are safe, thanks to the relative of that idiot we know so well. I'll introduce you to her later. She's much more talented and useful than he is. What's your position? I'll send rescue right away. Before you do, there's something you need to know. Huh? Komaru Naegi and Toko Fukawa are not with me. Not with you? Why? I'll let her explain. Her? She asked that I send you this message. It might be garbled a bit, but it'll do. Oh, really? Oh, that's cool. I was actually thinking about uh, getting Decadence um, on my Switch at some point. Um, 
Can you see me, Makoto? You're surprised that I'm not leaving, right? Sorry for making you worry. There's a lot I want to say. But first, let me explain why I'm not there. Sorry, sitting in this chair for, for long enough gets starts to hurt. <sighs> Why? Why are you bringing up something like that? Do you feel responsible for their revenge? But that wasn't your fault. You can't feel bad about that, not even a little. No, that's not it. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. This is my decision. Please tell me there's not going to be any more then gameplay. Then why are you doing this? Didn't you want to get out of this place and live a normal, peaceful life? But now you want to stay here? That's like the complete opposite. I never actually watched Fairy Tale. I should watch that at some point. You're right. You. It's not because you feel despair. No, of course not. I don't want to get slapped again. Oh, then thank God. Why? Even I'm not totally sure. But earlier, when I said how I want to save both. All the scary feelings and hesitation I've felt were gone. Even though the odds were against us, for some reason, I felt courage. I think it's because I was confident that that was what I needed to do. But what would happen if I leave this town with you and Biakia? What would happen if Future Foundation came here to suppress the riot and uncover the secret? And then what would happen if the Remnants of Hope were to find this place? It would turn into a war. Just like Monica said. S so you're saying you're going to be this town's hostage in place of Master? Until now, I kept relying on you. And I never really got to make decisions on my own. Okay, well that... I mean... Is that really true? I mean, you've been doing pretty well for yourself. The ex I mean, I guess she's not really talking about the gameplay, she's talking about the cutscenes, but nah. Fuck it, it's fine. But I was I'm like that even it. before I met you. I used to give up all the time. But the decision to save everyone was one I made on my own. Of course, I'm scared and I'm worried. But despite that, I've made up my mind. I won't give up until the very end. I'll make sure I protect both. Idiot. You're awfully optimistic after all this. <sighs> Seriously, what are you thinking? You're just like your brother sometimes. No. I think I got it from you. He's also the VA for Makoto, aka Queen in Persona 5 Royal. I, who's queen? Actually, don't answer that, don't answer that. I haven't gotten to that part in Persona 5. I'm still trying to be fucking the, the first palace, so don't tell me anything, please. I'll get to that road when I cross it. Me? Or I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. You get the idea. You were with me all this time. If I have changed- No, 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 no. It's fine, you don't have to apologize, it's just, just, just you know, I've already had one major spoiler for the game, so I'd rather not have another. It's your influence, Toko. For now, I'm going to be fine. This is much better than imprisoned life regardless. So don't worry about me. Go back with Byakuya. You two are the only ones who can persuade Future Foundation not to interfere here. Live what down? Live what, Gaiga? Gaiga, what are you talking about? S so please, don't be mad. What? Of course I'm mad. Jeez, why do I have to stay behind in a town like this? I... Oh, no, you misunderstood. I meant I'm the one who's gonna stay here. 
If you're going to stay, there's no way I can leave. I decided to be with you too, remember? Oh. <laughs> what the hell, your mouth? Toko, do you really think some brother complex girl like you can be master's substitute? In a hostage trade, you and I are barely enough for one, Master Byakuya. So, I'll stay with you. That's the decision I made, no complaining. But you said you wanted to go home with Byakuya. I don't need your concern. Master yeah. and I are rock solid. Even if we're apart, our feelings towards each other will never change. Byakuya, they're lesbians. Yes, that's correct. Huh? Master yeah. Byakuya! Oh, God! Get the antidepressants! Get the antidepressants! It's true what you said. Even if we're apart, my feelings of disgust toward you will never change. Master? So the reason I've decided to stay isn't because someone forced me to. It's a choice I made myself. But I know that I can't just expect things to change right away. Just because I'm staying. I know that I can't become real hope, like you. So, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for the day you guys defeat the remnants of despair and come home safe. Uh, but you don't have to rush or anything, okay? I'll wait until the day you come to pick me up. Yeah. I have the gun honestly. Mr. Byakuya gave me, and I have my reliable friend Toko. And about mom and dad, I didn't find anything. Oh, she's hiding the truth from him so that he doesn't feel... Oh, my god. I went to the torture room later, but it was empty. The film that girl forced me to watch must have been recorded earlier. Or fake. That means there's a chance they're alive and well somewhere. Right? Um... Maybe even somewhere in this city. That's what I choose to believe. Okay, sorry, this video is getting pretty long. I guess I should wrap it up. The next time you see me, I might be so grown up you don't even recognize me. Just like how surprised I was when I saw you. See you later. So that's the situation. So wait, but she mentioned the torture room, so does that mean she, does that mean he does know? I thought all your sister was good for was cowering in fear. But there you have it. <sighs> you know, three games later, I still fucking hate you. Seriously. Well, she surprised me before. Hey, Makoto. You know what we have to do, right? We have to stop this idiotic war and return here to retrieve them. We wouldn't want to betray their expectations. Yeah, you're right. I've made up my mind, Byakuya. If a situation like this ever happens again, no matter how dangerous the trap, I'm jumping right in so I can end it properly with my own two hands. Hey, just like the ending of the second game. Hearing you say that reminds me of what you said back at the Academy. Huh? Hope keeps going, huh? Fine, I'll partner with you for just a little while. At least until I've repaid the debt I owe to Toko and your sister. Yeah. Well, we made it. The game's over and past me can finally get some relief for the crazy shit she had to deal with. So, I've had some strong things to say about this game as I was playing it. Sometimes I said it was fun, other times I said it was boring, other times, most of the time, I kept ragging on Toko for being a complete jerk throughout the story up until the very end. So, what do I actually think of this game? Well, I think it's just okay. I don't hate it, but it's really hard for me to recommend it to anyone else. There are some things that this game does right, like the bosses are fun, the puzzles can make you think, sometimes, and there are some moments in the story where it legitimately grabbed my attention. But sadly, a lot of these moments are short-lived thanks to the monotonous level design and a lot of potential that was just simply 
not taken advantage of either for the sake of the story or because of, again, the monotonous level design. Like the truth bullets. I liked the way some of them were used in the boss battles, but I feel like they could have had so many more uses with the utility-based truth bullets like Move or Link. Instead, we either get a one-time level use the second we're given it, or we get very minor uses in puzzles or level progression like activating mechanisms or getting hints for the previously mentioned puzzles. The closest thing we got as an example of experimentation with their potential is with one of the Monokuman machines rooms near the very end. But not only was it just for the one bullet we got near the end anyways, it just barely scratched the surface of the potential it had, and it was really frustrating. I don't hate this game. When it does something right, it does it right. Like at the very end. I mean, you're fighting a Kaiju Monokuma that has a crown and scepter with hope versus despair playing in the background. What's not to love about that? But that's 10% of the game. The other 90% is okay at best and boring at worst. If I'm being 100% honest, it feels like this game needed more time in the oven to be anything more than okay in my eyes. But. I don't know, what do you think of the game? Let me know in the comments if you want, just keep it civil, alright? Thanks. Well, seeing as I probably didn't talk enough to fill out the rest of the silence with, I'll just leave you with the backing track. Thanks again for watching, folks. going through oh my god hey you aren't ready yet D don't shout so gotcha. early in the morning you're not really a morning person are you are you secretly staying up late without me thanks to your jimmy legs and snoring I can't get a good night's sleep yeah. I am so not snoring it's true, I might toss and turn while I'm asleep. Yeah. Again, I'm going to watch the anime after I finish the series, but I am super excited for the V3. And yes, I agree. They're girlfriends. And it wasn't They're... just snoring. You were talking in your sleep, saying, Makoto! Oh, fuck off. Lies! Definitely lies. And if you want to get a good night's sleep, why don't you go sleep in your own bed? They're even sharing a bed! <laughs> How are they not girlfriends? This has to be canon! We're in a hotel. There's plenty of other rooms. Don't be an idiot. What happens if a ghost shows up? Oh, come on. Oh, so you're into a cold stuff now. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry. They're girlfriends, Your Honor. They're girlfriends. Well, you really did get possessed, right? So... Ghosts do exist, right? Well, I guess that's just one more thing you're afraid of now. It's all your fault. I remember that scene. They literally Come sleep on, in the same room. Oh my God. Yeah, in in the 
in the adults' base. They also sleep in the same room, uh, bed. Don't watchful eye. These people are gonna start fighting again. No time to slack off. What? But you're the one who woke up late. Hey! I told you to wait! Aw, oh, come on, Toki! Toki! <laughs> she sleeps in the dick bait! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Finn, it's over. It's all over. Yeah, it's, that's cute. An end that re I don't know what the rest of that achievement says. You can now read the spin-off novel, Ultra Despair Hakagur ha Haga Hagakure. Yeah, Hagakure. You can now make use of the bonus mode where you give you can view CGs and listen to BGMs. By loading the clear save data with the star, you can check them out. Thanks for playing! Save your progress? I mean, yeah, why wouldn't I? Well... You worked hard! You're damn right I did. Okay! I think... Oh shit, that reminds me, I didn't read the, the novel that they unlocked in the after you beat the second game either. I gotta read both of these off screen at some point. Okay, well, then, damn. Alright. Alright. Well, are you gonna do the bad end or no? I think no, I think I'm done. Like if I think I'm I'm not I'm not gonna go back to that just to do the bad end. I think I'm done. Just entirely with this game. You haven't read Dagara FM shame. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was super excited, okay? Initially I was super excited for this game, but yeah. God damn. <laughs> Alright. So I'm gonna end this stream here. Thank you, Gaiga and Gundam for watching. Seriously, you guys made this so much more bearable. <laughs> ah. Oh, but yeah, I'm gonna end this here. Thank y'all for watching. Bye bye! See you in V3! <laughs> <laughs>